Don't worry, I got those crazy eyes, though. Hello, everybody! Oh, yeah. Welcome back to Misty Mountain Mondays here on Misty Mountain <laughs> Streaming. I'm the D&D wannabe. My name is Rog. Rog? Rog? God. Rog! Here we go. Everyone's Rog. favorite DM, Rog. <laughs> Good to and meet you. And I just got out of a car like 30 minutes ago from Chicago. And I am wiped. <laughs> but... <laughs> Uh, I do have this little guy to help keep me awake, and since uh, Steven and Ian got them, uh, you can you know that I've heard of them a lot. This was a gift from John's little sister. Is this coming through? Is this coming through at all? A little bit. No, I got one of them. I got one. Yeah, like half of one. I got, a, I got barely. I'm okay. not allowed to know. That's you're. It's you're better off. I'm sure Twitch is very frustrated at. Already. Yeah, I'm sure they're loving it. <laughs> I got a little blue rubber chicken. I have never owned a rubber chicken in my life, and this one has a lanyard that says Route 66 on it and is wearing little sunglasses. I don't understand. Hoy vey! Anyway, hello! We're going to be playing D&D &D again tonight. We have hello. a few things to talk about before we get there. Um, before I do announcements, we will do introductions. And I, we will do introductions right after I say hello to the people who are in the chat. Sarah is here. Eric is here. Dancer Hawk is here. Um, confessed Mind. I'm assuming that's not Confused Mind. Uh, either way, it is spelled in a way to confuse me, which is simpler than you would expect to do. Um, Cold Rolled Steel is here. Evelyn May is here. Payton is here. And resubscribing for his seventh Ooh. month in a row. Welcome back, bud. Uh, Irish Mac just popped in the chat. Hello, Irish. Hello. Uh, that <laughs> is everybody. And, yeah, I'm already getting grief about the rog thing. That was quick. Rog. 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 <laughs> That's his name today. Yeah. Let's I'll see. Today. We went in, uh, in order of the screen here last week, so let's, let's throw it in reverse. Uh, hey, Ellie. I'm flipping oh, hi. reverse it. Sorry, it's not in reverse on Discord. <laughs> not in Discord, no. So, sorry, there are people. Ellie, there are people watching. <laughs> what? Are you serious? This is so embarrassing, right? guys. This is this is for reals now. Oh my god, people are gonna know we play D and D. Oh, oh you they're gonna oh think god. we're nerds. Oh shit! Oh god, we're in a guys. satanic cult. <laughs> Wait, you're not. Hi. Well, <laughs> not yet. We're starting one. Well, hi, I am Ellie D and D on um, all socials. I almost uh, showed up dressed as Eddie Munson today, um, which would have fit, fit the satanic cult. Maybe next week. Um, but that's about it. I play a little confused ass warlock named Naya. We love her. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> so far, so good. Uh, I haven't made up my mind yet. I mean, a lot can change in the. Of course, the next three hours is all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank, thank you, Ellie, and welcome back. I know you had a, a an exciting and tiring weekend, so yeah. thank you. I've for... been up for 18 hours. <laughs> um, I, I don't know if you want me saying this, but I will say this on your behalf. Um, mm -hmm. Ellie's work schedule recently changed, and... She had to pick which D and D game she got. She continued playing each week, and she picked us guys. Cause I love y'all. We are so happy you're here. Oh, a terrible decision, really. To. But Ew. we're delighted that you made it. <laughs> <laughs> um, before we move on to Maddie, thank you, Trixie Michiru, huh. for giving out the community sub. Appreciate that. I I will remind us in a minute what we are uh, what we are marching Trixie towards. Mattel sub to us. <laughs> uh, Trixie Michiru. Trixie Michiru. Uh, anyway, hey Crash. Hello. <laughs> Would you like to elaborate yeah. in any way? You said Maddie was next. I did, and I was wrong. I am in charge here. I, I was so ready, you were so and now everything's thrown off. Look, it's on. my job to keep you all on your toes. This. I'm also not Hi, a professional guys. in any way. I am Maddie Moiselle. <laughs> I am a cosplayer and an artist. And in this campaign, I am playing Nimwin, who is a half-furbolg, half-satyr cleric. And 
I think it's just going to be a lot of fun. You miss that Maddie is the cutest human that exists. Maddie Moiselle. Maddie Moiselle. I stop. Stop it. I just remember that I had to do Crash's intro last week. And I think this it's now it's fitting that someone else does someone else's intro every time. <laughs> um well yes that be inflexible. By the way, I think is that Kristen walking around in the back, by the way. What are you a cop? <laughs> <laughs> well just just tell him hi at some point from me. I'm no snitch. Okay. Okay, nice shirt, by the way. Thanks. Uh <laughs> The, the cosplayer formerly known as Maddie, do you need to introduce Crash now? Yeah, hi. I'm a Crash Candy cosplay. <laughs> badass. And I make really big, cool-ass armor stuff. And I like to paint myself purple for hours on end. And I'm playing this beautiful snake woman. And I'm here for a good time. That's a very good Crash. <laughs> Voice inflection. All of these things you are true. Like that. <laughs> she can dish it out, but she can't take it, ladies and gentlemen. No, I'm in <laughs> love with this. <laughs> I just want to watch like I'm seeing what, this. It's like I'm seeing what God sees for the first time. <laughs> God, we haven't even started the stream yet, and I'm crying. <laughs> oh, you made him emotional. <sighs> emotional let's go with that um <laughs> hey thank you td pod for the follow welcome to the family this is misty mountain streaming me and these much more comparatively wonderful people like to tell and experience great stories and our favorite way to do that is by playing dungeons and dragons and we are going to get to that here in a little bit right after we hear from the person most recently portraying dorian on the stream tyler mm -hmm. hi I'm Cheesecake Panda. Um, I play Dorian. He's weirdly the normal looking one out of everybody. But that, that doesn't matter. I have a rat. I have a tiny hat. Yeah. <laughs> that was very good. That's you will excellent. wear this and you will like it. Oh, fashionista. <laughs> Cover girl. Look at her. Where is that dude she Daniel when we need him? Stunning. <laughs> Oh, work, bitch. And I guess if we need more things to look at, here's Tiny Bones. Mmm. Love my tiny character, bones. Tiny Bones. Just how I like my bones. Tiny. <laughs> it's a teeny little hand. Look, I printed a 3D printed teeny, teeny, tiny little oh hand. Oh my god, it's so cute. So skin. you did. It takes me back to my gelatinous <laughs> cube, having all these tiny little bones. And yes. being like, I had to 3D <laughs> print people. all of the bones on this lid. They had to print the box and print the bones on the lid, and it took forever. Wow. But well, it like still it. turned out that freaking looks cool. Beautiful. Yeah, it wasn't in vain. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, hey, thank you, Never really Shuts Up 07, for the follow. That name worries me. Nice. Oh, I feel prank. like that just describes our stream, honestly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just keep going. I feel, yep, I feel seen. We are Never Shuts Up. 007, and Rob is somehow Q. <laughs> <laughs> oh, better Q than M. She always seems so stressed. Uh, so, uh, real quick, let me also thank the London Carlisle, uh, Zero Kill Champ Jarjin, uh, Dungeon in a Box, uh, Zombie Creeper, Swiss Boba, Obi-Wan Jacoby, and Timmy Mocha Cupcake for Ooh, the followers. Let's see. Okay. Oh, wait, there's more. This must have happened. Or story time at Omega's. I think I got everybody else. Uh, thank all of you guys for the follows. Thank you to Sheepish Lamb, who has continued to be doing some awesome stuff in our little Discord as far as art goes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. for the gifted subscription to Sarah and to Tay Link for the raid. I think that was Wednesday night stream. We might have already thanked them, but if anyone is still here from that, uh, welcome. Oh, I'm, initially, I am surprised, <laughs> and second of all, thank you. Uh, let's see. Uh, other quick things. One, we are still funding, as far as I know, it never told me that it ended, so I'm assuming that it is still going. Our community... Um, experience contribution to introduce a new magic item into the campaign. 
Uh, so if you don't have an idea of what to do with your channel points, you can contribute to that. Uh, also, everybody still... We, ro we rolled very few dice last week. So everybody still has inspiration and guidance for when you need That's them. It's about to change. It's about to change. <laughs> uh, beyond that, we are pushing for a sub goal right now. I'm, I have an idea for our uh, thousand follower goal when we get there and we're getting ever Ooh. closer. But we're going to talk about that a little closer to time. What we are getting close to is we are over halfway to our subscription giveaway for new dice, y'all. Let me see. Do I have them? I should have had them handy. Oh, the sexiest oh, dice. Hang on. They're just out of reach. Hang on. We're we're getting gifted subs. I'm trying to count. <gasps> oh, yeah. Five. yeah. You said I couldn't help. Oh, Rob, Rob's gone. <laughs> well, we thank you. Rob walked away. Yeah. yeah. Look at how much we're doing here. I'm getting them <laughs> dice, the you guys. Wait, what happened? Oh, Sarah, thank you. Five community subs. Sarah was bemoaning the other day that she didn't contribute more to this channel, and I told her she's dumb. I'll tell it to her we face. loved you before you. the gift sub, Sarah, and we love you now. Yes, thank you. I'm, we're glad you are here and hanging out with us, but absolutely thank you for spending your hard-earned American dollars on weird internet people like us. There's also a question here rob about oh. how do we use channel points towards the new magic item is it an actual thing people can click on or is it something people yeah, it should... contribute to i had it's something people can contribute to let me click over here and just make sure it's still active because it ought to be mm. yeah i don't see it what okay how about like now See. Community challenge started. Huh, well, you know. Wow. That should probably have been started like a calendar week ago. <laughs> I'm I made it then. <laughs> I guess I guess I just didn't start it then. Which means we all just get magic items like now. Whoa! Well, only left me, well, only left me oh. for the max of 2000. So I have 35,000. Yeah, I was about rude. to say. Max I, I would like to donate Roger. More. Uh, I'm donating. Is, it, is it stopping you from donating more? It says just max says, it just 2,000. Says max. Oh, okay. Hang on. Can I, let me get into this thing. Well, uh, no, yeah, can please, I not? Please make the max at the least 24.5 thousand. Yeah. Can I not edit it once I started it? It's okay. I think we'll make it's it. Already, it's though. already 30%. Y'all are fine. It's already, yeah, it's already fine. at 15,000. So. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting to get a oh, good night, baby. Magic item. Thank you to Manny's93. <laughs> For another five gifted subs, I haven't even showed you guys what you're, what we're playing for, and people are are doing stuff. We're uh, just doing commentary at this point. That's pretty much, <laughs> guys. Can we're we? We're good at it. We're just not going to play D and D tonight. Wow. We're going to thank people. You're new. And <laughs> if you just joined in the last few minutes, you will wear this again. No, oh, she not. slapped <laughs> it that time. <laughs> Trying oh. to give everybody a treat. And you said no. <gasps> we got some more <gasps> gifted subs. Sir Suerte, thank Manny. you for the follow. And thank you, Manny's, again Manny. for more subs. Where did you? Wow. Who is Manny? Oh. Where, where did they come from? <laughs> Gosh. We love you, Manny. And thank you. Gosh. <laughs> I want to know who you are. Are you in our Discord? Say hi. Hang on. Let me post the Discord. Join our Discord. Guys, and there's a Discord. Scream with us. Join it. <laughs> Scream um, into the void with others. <laughs> let me get this out while while I have the opportunity to get this out, I suppose. Um, we have new dice. Uh, my buddy yeah. Banjo designed them, and Crash finalized the design and made them prettier than most people can draw. Uh, he selected as the prize a silver font on Obsidian. And let oh, me see, which of so my cool. cameras, this one is the so, so camera? This will focus Ooh, I love that. Here. Yeah. I don't know if you'll focus. Uh, oh, I had it. I had it. Look, there's a wolf on the D20. The wolf is upside oh, yeah. down, but dang. They are awesome, guys. The D4s have little jaws on them. Very cute. Yeah, there. Look at that. It focused. Damn, I cannot control my cameras whatsoever. Um, I love the D20 so much. I'm so in love mm -hmm. with that one. I really like it. Yeah. I know it's uh, some company pride, but I really like the D8 with the little mountain on it. Thank you. Nice. 
Those are very fun to do. I like the, mountains. Those sets ha those. have been pretty positively and excitedly received at the conventions mm -hmm. I've heard they've been at so awesome. far. There we go. There this we is what I need to do. Here. I need to block oh, yeah. my dang face and people can see stuff. Very tempted to pick up a set at C2, just, just saying. Just very tempted. Hey, Evelyn May's giving out a community yeah. sub, and Sarah yeah. has caught up to Manny's again and just pulled ahead with two more! <laughs> Take it, she's taking it personal! Oh, God. We're out of control! Oh, man. Oh, man. Can we Let's only give... Get out. Let's get it out now. Because Can we only give 2,000 channel points the per the, stream? In the middle of the I don't know. <laughs> I can't edit it anymore. Um, Mine says max it. contributions reached, and okay. you know that I have more. I know you yeah. do. I s intentionally set it as high as I did so that I could drain Ty's reserve of channel points. <laughs> uh, to be fully fair, though, I would have gotten us more than 50% of the way there. Oh, yeah. But oh, the two I of know. us, we could have gotten it. Would have yeah. Gotten it <laughs> which yeah. is why the, the first magic item is right here in case I needed it last session when I didn't have this <laughs> thing started. Uh, you get this. I got you. Wow, well, the hype train. Of course, the hype train started. What <gasps> the hell? Okay. Oh, yeah, fair. Dice will be inside Sheepish here. lamb cheering okay. 100 bits. Thank you, darling. Oh, are we about to start a cheer fight? Elysium at oh, trains? No, like, no, oh, oh my goodness. no, guys. Oh, hey, uh, by the way, uh, mods hit me up uh, in the chat. Let me know how everyone is sounding. I think last week I really needed to turn somebody up, and I forget who it was. Um. But let me know. Thanks, Maddie, for the 300 bits. You're welcome. Aren't you adorable? I was told, by the by, you and I still have not met in person. It's on the to-do mm -hmm. list. Um, it is. I do not think, because I am 6'1", I do not think of 5'10 as being an intimidating height. Apparently, other people who are not me think I am very wrong about that. Okay. And find I, you, I like, shocked... statuesque. Apparently, I've and... shocked everybody with my height. Um as I've been told by people on stream, I have yeah. short energy. Uh, so when I walk oh into uh, the booth space, I'm like, hello. Truly, yeah. truly I you'd be incredible. Like <laughs> I'm a little guy. Yeah, yeah. Actually yeah. not. What he's do Look, uh, Sir Suerte has been here like 45 seconds and has a gifted subscription. Uh, oh, we're train. on the final level of a hype train. We're 90% of the way to the glass stinking level like of a hype train. <laughs> and Teapot and Manny's throwing out cheers for us. And here comes Payton with two committees. That's it, guys! We're we hadn't even played D&D! &D. Oh my gosh! Oh, Lord have mercy. You guys are so cool. Look at us go, y'all. What, what is... a squad we have in chat here. What is this dang old community? <laughs> How did we how did we find awesome people like this? Like we hardly tried. <laughs> I'm a big fan. I don't know how they found us, but I'm a big fan of them. Man, you guys are so awesome. Thank you so much. We're at 123 percent of a hype train. Gosh, As well, gosh, yeah. Yeah. Holy shit! How is Crash Candy cosplay not subbed? <laughs> oh, am I not? So that's what I were says. at one point. <laughs> but <laughs> I think I think you got a gifted sub. In, yeah, in all fairness, I don't think that I'm sub. Every time it ends up being a gifted sub. <laughs> yeah. Oh, broken like, adventurer just, like, got one from Manning. The top of that randomizer. <laughs> Dirty dwarf, thank you for the follow. Sarah, thank you for the bits. Oh my god, Shelly, thank you for the bits. Oh, there's there's not. We're at 245% of a gosh darn hype. Yeah, Are yeah. you going to really call out everybody else's stuff and not the fact that Ash, Maddie, and I all did highlighted messages saying because I can't buy a magic yeah. item? I'm Why sorry, I you, can't. You gotta read the highlighted messages, <laughs> Look, Rob. There's That's so like much streaming 101. There's so you much stuff going <laughs> by on this feed right now. <laughs> oh Man. my lord. Uh. He's Sarah, this, guys. Give him a stop! Break. Ooh, stop, kidding. Sarah. Ooh, buy, like buy <laughs> things for yourself. <laughs> the way Sprinkle I and I are on the same you are paying page. your bills and your rent before you do this. <laughs> Sarah gave out five more community subs. Sarah, feed yourselves before you feed us. <laughs> My gosh, Sarah, are you going to GalaxyCon? I know Rifle and um. 
I think, well, I think, I know Sophie is. I think Rifle is. I know your pals with them. Um, I'll be going to that one. Uh, Raleigh. Raleigh, Sarah. Oh, oh, oh. Manny. Okay, who the hell is Manny's? <laughs> I need to know. We are at make, four. Make yourself known in our Discord so we can celebrate and uplift. Please. All right. Uh, first of all, Crash, you spelled it wrong. It's Rog. I know what I said. <laughs> uh, it's spelled get oh, good, no, sir or madam. Know your place. <laughs> Manny, you five more community it. subs. Holy crap. Ow. Every time everybody gets excited, she can hear it and she tries to dig into my armpit. Mm. Which means Same. guess who's doing it? I'll just suffer. <laughs> I, if y'all think at this point, I need this. Oh gosh. Oh, it's party time now. I do love Crash with the, the chopstick. I just heard like, a bit of it, when you like, flip the <laughs> I was saving this for a the special occasion, really and I guess that was it. Come to die. Uh, <laughs> Murder, <laughs> Mitten, Murder Mitten Gaming, that is a cool ass That's name. That's the one that Thank KJ the said to me, and she was doing it all day. <laughs> I love what Murder Mitten Gaming just said. <laughs> wow, oh, is wow. this the critically acclaimed tabletop roleplay game Dungeons huh? & Dragons? How neat. neat. <laughs> this is no. how you play Dungeons & Dragons. Yes, you play Dungeons & Dragons by <laughs> not playing Dungeons no. & Dragons. <laughs> just... Rob, Christmas says thank you for the username. <laughs> oh, that's her? Awesome. Hey, hon. Oh, oh. I I'm glad <laughs> she's here. Does she like? Does she like your shirt? Hey, Kristen, do you like my shirt? Your nails on It's supposed to be good. me. <laughs> okay, so I didn't do that good a job drawing it then. Oh, Manny's another... I it looks perfect. I, I thought it, I was pretty happy with it. Uh, what is, exactly what's same. it say at the bottom? We, we can't see the text. Want to roll with dice? MMS is Everybody? chill. It's so, we're Although so chill. a lot chill. of people have been like, is that a disease? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> No, it's these guys on the internet who are at 520% of a hype. Like, it's ow. what happens when you get too many gifted subs. In what? The stream. They just keep going, holy shit. Sarah <laughs> with five more... How, Sarah, okay, wait a second. I think I think we were at we were at the stinking giveaway. Like, I, th I, I think, think, we, think we passed... I think we beat we passed, it. And it just passed. hasn't caught up yet. What the... <laughs> You this guys, is this is like the second and a half. This is, isn't even the second D&D &D stream of the month because we have not half. rolled a die. <laughs> Should we all yeah, roll real of, quick? Yeah, here we go. D &D? Oh. Here. I got a 14. I'm gonna let, I got an 11. I'm going to let the little Vexy do it. Can you guys you do can't do this to me. I, I have a limited capacity to express emotion yes. and gratitude. That's a good one. Finally, 15. that's a big one for me. It's not bad. Have the magic rat. So All right, everybody in the chat, if you got if you got the D twenty handy, rollies. Nineteen. From the magic rat. Nineteen. Okay. Of course. You've got to roll for yourself, Ty. We're not. I'm not competing against the rat. <laughs> it was an eighteen. Oh mercy! What else? Who? I'm losing track of who I have and haven't thanked. What the hell? Evelyn, I know this oh, is another Crash, gift sub you from have you. A gift sub again. Um, Manny, <laughs> Manny's five more community subs. The who the hell is Manny's? Hog. <laughs> Sheepy got a twenty. Sheepy wins the. Sheepy. Sheepy does. Sarah, don't try and keep up. You are you are a mad woman, and Manny's is either a madman or woman or something. Uh, I, my, my I see gifted a sub. when we just don't play for a good crash. 30 minutes once yep. we start. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> 10 minutes in. <sighs> oh my god. I was not joking when last week we were jokingly saying that Domino's could sponsor us and that we'd get our announcements done in 30 minutes or less. <laughs> <laughs> it might not be less. Dreams brought to you by HelloFresh. <laughs> Guys, y'all are so Shadow Legends. cool. Thank you, guys. Put you by Raid Shadow Legends. Like... <laughs> Twitch.com. NordVPN. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know what? I was going to... Manscaped. <laughs> I was... no, best fiends. Best fiends. Pulling out a classic, but best fiends. I was going to talk about this later. Um, 
Payton. <laughs> Payton with two community subs. You, Guys, <laughs> Payton, you have a family. <laughs> and we're happy to be part of that family. So Gosh. Thank you. <laughs> Manny with another gifted sub to Robert Top. All right, okay, hang on. Y'all, can y'all stop for a second and I will be right back. <laughs> Just okay. Just Nobody do anything crazy second. while Rob's gone. Yeah, everybody, stay completely silent. Don't who wants move, to play? Wait, who time. wants to play like heads up, seven up while we're waiting? Okay. Ready. Okay. Oh, oh, I might have to look up. Vex is trying to lick my mouth. I'm back. Oh god. Okay, then that just means <laughs> you're it. <laughs> All right. Has anyone been <laughs> tapped yet? No, oh, I've been peeking this whole time. Yeah. So. <laughs> We're I, I we're doing it. oh frick! <laughs> <laughs> I missed something. Okay, are okay, we up? Heads up. <laughs> I think it was Ellie. Oh, <gasps> was it Ellie? What game were we playing? <laughs> <laughs> it sure wasn't D and D. Go fish. Okay, dice nerds. We have talked. We have spoken. Obsidian dice, Misty Mountain Gaming. The the pe Ooh. the guys that brought us all together. This was the prize for the 99 subscription thing, which apparently was way too heckin' low for you insane D&D loving, extremely supportive, and financially generous maniacs, okay? <laughs> um, this, this is outstanding. I was completely unprepared to have a stretch goal for this, because I thought, 99, this will take them all month. <laughs> and was wrong. Um, but, uh, let's do... Let's do another one. Uh, so we'll have a stretch goal now. I'm not updating it on the screen because I want to play <laughs> D&D at some point and I'm slow at this stuff because I'm old. Um, yeah, D&D sounds fun. Also, I like that I Manny could, doesn't do actually that. said anything, only spend money. Yeah, Manny just keeps sending Man, stuff. Man, just no. reveal yourself. Just quietly at the back of the club, just throwing, just... throwing fives out. <laughs> Being very God, extra. Manny's got Manny's got nothing to prove. Manny <laughs> says money talks. Um, mm -hmm. This guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna let the I'm not going to even show you what's in this because the girls on screen will tell you what this is. If I say that what is in this bag is metal and everyone thought we were sold out of it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Let's go. The I want to win. Dragons. I found. Get them to... I found. Know what? I found oh, crash. I'll... Listen, I found some sets. I want them. It won't. I know. I want them. I know I'm you do. Drive your house. It can look just at what? the next con. If you no D&D tonight. I'm driving. They have. Yeah, just come over to me, and then we'll go together. <laughs> they are hollow metal dice that make a wonderful little sound when you roll them, and they're these little wooden cages, and inside of them are tiny metal dragons. And it is the sickest thing ever. And you I'm so it. mad that I don't focus. have you can them. Ties. So, but they do jingle. I will do two drawings. Someone will get the brand spanking new, not even available online, Obsidian Fangs of Winter dice. And if we hit 150 by the end of the month, you guys have time. Get paid again before you. Um, another winner will receive a thus far convention exclusive, also not available online, set of metal hollow dice with tiny dragons in them. I was going to offer to let the winners pick between a golem box and and a, a mimic, and I forgot that I had a Bigsby's hand inside the mimic. <laughs> <laughs> so, I love it. Oh. Murder oh, Mitten Gaming, I, I am, I am grateful, but I... Get it on the camera. Um, to answer Murder Mitten oh Gaming, um, I, I am very grateful. I just, I don't know, I, this is not a level of generosity and support that I am accustomed you know to. Yeah. Okay? I just, I don't know how to deal with it, is the thing. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, guys. Take a deep breath. I do not I do not have enough sleep to handle our cool community right now. Do we just need to reschedule D D? Like, and we can we just, just scream, scream all night. <laughs> right. So I, I can scream all night on here <sighs> if you need me to. Um real quick, let's give a let's give a quick sup to 
Quick Sup, who just gave us a follow. Um, <laughs> FXRL Racing and J. Oh dear. Guile Oliver. Guile We're one minute from this Gile pizza. <laughs> Okay. If we got All a right. minute or the pizza free. <laughs> okay, we're going to start the D. Uh in the future we're going I have this idea of starting the show starting the session with a little bit of a a little bit of a story scene, but we left it kind of on initiative, so we're going to skip mm -hmm. that for this week. So, I'll do a quick recap. Uh -huh. My god. There's a null. Okay, <sighs> we're done. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Look oh, she's a little doll. mimic. Look at hey, that tail. Baby. Talk. I'll just until she gets down. She's here. Good. Uh, Good for her. Yep. Yeah, sprinkle. I'm sorry, sprinkle. <laughs> <laughs> we're get. We're getting there. Ah. Um. Also, thank you to you. you oh God. Someone help. <laughs> you, you can do it. El ultimo pleb. Yeah. El ultimo pleb. You, would it help if yeah. I did Ultimo a, a recap of last week's episode, but in CN's voice? Because that's why it usually. No, happens. no, no, no. That's okay. I'll I'll handle it. <laughs> I've got this. So that was just a threat. I was like, yeah. Peyton <laughs> says, oh, "I got this, go Rog." <laughs> Thank you. So <laughs> we are playing Dungeons and Dragons in the setting. My own custom homebrew little setting, and Manny just gave out ten oh, community on. subs. Manny's back. Manny's back. Manny. Manny want us to stream. <laughs> Is that it? Just Manny's like, you know what? Can These guys me. suck at D and D. We're not gonna let them play. Anytime that they, st I'm just gonna overwhelm no. the dungeon master. Manny, is that correct? Oh Manny's my worried goodness! About our fight. Guys, I I figured it out. Sugar D and Daddy. Oh! Hearing your laugh from all the way. I don't know. There. I don't know if Manny's <laughs> a daddy or a mommy. <laughs> I'll call him either one right now. Um, MVP. I think Manny. I think Manny's just really concerned that this Noel is gonna kill our characters. So instead of playing, <laughs> we can live in this great little fantasy limbo where our characters don't die. I'm, Thanks, hang on. Manny. I'm, I'm scrolling here. Hang on a second. Rob, no, Rob's no, homeschooled ass has to do some math here. Y'all give me a second. Oh. <gasps> Misfits here. Misfit, hey. <laughs> hey, Misfit, we, how we, you doing, We huh? haven't gotten to start yet because things have been so no. crazy. We were waiting for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does anybody want to start another bit fight? I'll throw a couple more out. I'll <laughs> do the unicorns this time. <laughs> It's like a I'm snowball have fight. An aneurysm. <laughs> Throw them back at me. It's like a snowball fight. Someone throws some, some little cheers. <laughs> One. So Tracker oh, says thirty. They found me, guys. So I hear it. Oh, Ma hear Manny has spoken. Manny says, "Okay, okay, I'm done for now." And then the the Rob emoji with the little angel halo. I love this. They use my emojis. I love this guy. <laughs> I'm, I'm totaling up what Manny and Sarah have done to me so that I can acknowledge Retweet, Tyler. their contributions properly. <laughs> no, it's not, because I could blow all my 30-some points on that. Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. We could have been looting a knoll. Guys, I want, I want everyone to know this real quick. You can watch this for free. <laughs> Pay like, your rent, please! You, you absolutely what? have that capacity. <laughs> we do? <laughs> or or you can do what Sarah did. Sarah gave out 22 community subscriptions by herself tonight. Sarah, you are an absolute darling. Thank you so very much. My hair yeah. is my hair would be messed up for you alone as I <laughs> as I handle this stress. Um Manny. Whoever the fuck they are, um, <laughs> went ahead and said, not to be outdone, handed out 38. Holy shit. So no. <laughs> Yo. I mean. We love you guys. Like, 
regardless of any of this. Yeah, you okay. You, but holy shit! Seriously. <laughs> Again, you watch this for- I'm fine with you watching this Hold for on, free! Wait. I'm gonna like... figure out how much this is. <sighs> um. <laughs> so welcome to Thank our you, stream, everybody. Thank you, Manny. <laughs> So and much. I just got a more that is insane. That I, I think it's a lot. I think that is. I think that's a record for the channel. I. I yeah, that's I, crazy. I, I, I don't think it can't be a record for the channel. Hot damn. Guys, yeah, we're, we went, we're supposed we to grow. From... You're supposed to grow slowly on Twitch. I don't know if anybody told anybody, but like it, things don't happen <laughs> this fast. We literally went from half of our sub goal for the whole month. To exceeding mm -hmm. it in maybe like 15 minutes. We were like, there he goes again, or she goes Manny. again. I don't have a gender for Manny. Manny, please, please share your pronouns in the chat. So um, the pronouns are your majesty and your highness. Yes. Uh, Correct. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's fucking insane. Thank you to Nagi Sao Mam Mamatone. Mama say, Mama say, Mama Naga Samatone. I don't know. Thank you. Also, thank you, uh, Broken Adventures here. Ursul Bollock is here in the chat. Thank you, guys. And Manny's at it again. Manny! You rascal. What? Okay, that's 40. That's 40. 40 is like a good place to stop, right? Like, okay, Rob, Dark you're Dark not Dark allowed to look at the chat anymore. Yeah, yeah. Rob, we're it not makes a, tonight, it makes a sound. I can't ignore it. Ignore it. <laughs> Take off your You know it's bad when mess. we're the. Then I can't hear you! Oh, us four of all people are telling Rob that he needs to get on track. Stream element. Something has happened. <laughs> been going for 45 minutes and two seconds. <laughs> okay, see him. Guys, we haven't we have we haven't even done anything yet. We're gonna, we're gonna hit an hour we before just, we combat just sit here. starts. <laughs> we found out Manny's pronouns. What are we? What are we? What do we got? He him. He him. Thank you very much, Kim. You needed to get to 40. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's Manny. a good round number. Yeah. Um, yeah. Manny, we got a Discord. I'm the D&D wannabe on it. I need to, like, thank you personally, and I hate messaging on Twitch, so um, say hi. Fucking please. You can, yeah. Nobody yeah. checks it. That's why I hate it. Um, <laughs> and thank you, Sarah, for 10,000 bits. And for the... <sighs> Like, I can't be mad, but I'm kind of... I don't know. Manny, you're right. 50 is, is a really is clean is round number. number. Yeah, it's always 50. It's funny seeing, like, friends 50. of mine pop up in the gifted subs. <laughs> yeah, I've seen a couple of my friends. I'm like, aha, uh -huh, so you're here. <laughs> mm -hmm. I did just do the critical role thing and, and play and acknowledge later. <laughs> oh, man, guys. No, Manny. <laughs> Wild. Y'all remember when we were freaking out during the first episode of What Lurks in the Dark and we thought that was crazy? Yeah. Right. Oh, that we surpassed. That those those <laughs> innocent days. Days were so much simpler. The pre the pre Sarah and Manny subscription war gift bit everything days. Oh, you know what, Rob? I think you should read the chat real quick and see Irish Max highlighted message because that that mm -hmm. is something that deserves celebration. Oh, I said I said that uh, ten thousand bits from 10, Sarah. Ten thousand bits. I that ten thousand bits. Oh, that the, the first magic item giving out given out will be named after Manny. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Excellent I point. To it I can't skill. buy what? it by myself. I don't, guys. <laughs> I don't understand Twitch. What is like Tasha's cauldron, Melf's acid arrow, Manny's something something. Sarah, my lemonade. Manny, 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 Manny you, give us give us some <laughs> weapon vibes. What are you feeling, Manny? It it wasn't a weapon, but I mean we can oh. we can talk. <laughs> okay. Okay. I feel like at this point, Manny's like a deity for this world, almost. Yeah. Uh, so Manny's our patron. <laughs> Funny story. I have I, my last campaign involved me killing up part of my pantheon. So there's an opening. Um. Oh gosh. Sarah, we're we're gonna have to talk before we play our community game, so I can <laughs> I can thank your ass. She she was messaging me, making sure I got home from Chicago safe. Oh, uh, we are not gonna fall asleep like this. Vex has already you signed out. Not. <laughs> you are not. There, you moved. Speaking of being moved. 
Um, Manny, another 5,000 bits. Holy Got shit. one minute or I start recapping Thank in you. the CN voice. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I see. PC I know. I see. Time. I Keeping know. Us on track. We love you. <laughs> Y'all, I'm a pass. I, how do you think I feel, Sarah? I do be sweating a little bit. This has been <laughs> kind of crazy. I look okay. Also, I don't. I have one air conditioning unit that only started working a month ago, and I can't have it on while we're while the mic's on. Oh, we're sweaty, buddy. Yeah, that's, I'm. Saying. So I got this thing. <laughs> that's all I'm rocking. Oh Behind my gosh. Somebody docks Manny's IP because I gotta figure out if this is actually a sugar daddy or not. <laughs> if and so. It is like, how you doing? <laughs> and if so, do you like dad bods and excessive body hair? Uh, Rob's gonna do a spicy cosplay. Because shoot, I have so. both. Because <laughs> and I are gonna do a spicy Rob shoot. No, that you don't. True. You do not have to do <gasps> that. Oh, it's not a oh. have to, it's a want to. Yeah. Oh, don't worry, Rob. This is a gift for oh, us. Oh, man. Okay. A passion here. project. If I knew how to give a timeout, I'm not good at Twitch. <laughs> Jay crashes over yeah. there. Just. Oh. Har Will! How's Harvey it going, Viking. Will? Um, Harbinger Viking is here. Harbinger Viking won our, um, our little sweepstakes to play D&D, like but who, like, Harbinger Viking doesn't play D&D, &D, so he's just rolling up to be generous again. Hey, buddy! Uh, we missed you. I know, I mean, not that you were ever supposed to be there, but, uh, I'd love, I'm hoping we get to work a show together again soon. Uh, is Manny the BBEG? I think I figured it out. Uh, I mean, they weren't. Plot list. <sighs> I made, oh, got, I made a stretch Manny goal, what, 10 minutes ago? <gasps> Manny the Mantis. Manny Mantis. <laughs> 55, Manny. Manny. I don't know if that's your full name, but I'm going with it. <laughs> Alright, uh, if you're not Manny, guys, check back in 20 minutes. Maybe the game will start. <laughs> <laughs> no, because we're about to get the, the CN. Oh, oh, yeah, is it CN oh, time? God. <laughs> oh, Brett, it's time. This isn't even the character I play today. This is my Wednesday night character. He's a tiny little troll. But here we go, guys. We'll start yeah, a brand new campaign. Yeah, you tell him, Tell him, Sian. So you're, you know so well what's going on. Oh, yeah. You and I are the smart ones at the party. Forget Cheshire and, and yeah, that yeah, little yeah, kid yeah. who you guys randomly picked up. I don't know why you picked up a kid. Hey, cool. Anyway, uh, yeah, last week was the start of an awesome adventure. <laughs> gonna pick up there Rob you gonna do you want me to keep doing this? I like this. this is great. He's I, a two foot tall fairy. I'm so. having a nice time. It feels just, like there's a kind of like just actual go. like <laughs> news announcer. <Just> go. <laughs> it's a disc jockey. Yeah, we started a brand new Absolutely. campaign last week guys. It was the it's first a podcaster. episode we got to meet everybody's <laughs> No, he couldn't be a podcaster because no one could see his face and he likes his face. But, um, be a YouTube announcer, yeah. But anyway, we started a new campaign. We got to meet everybody's awesome characters. We have Naya, who works in a bar, who just got powers and doesn't know how to use them yet. We got Sebast, who does have powers and who does know how to use them because she's had them for a little bit. And she's got a little <laughs> tiny, a little tiny mantis too. And they always name mantis and just, yeah, anyway. Uh, and we got Nimwin, who's big and tries to heal people, but ends up hurting them. Uh, and then oh. we have, I don't know, some monster that's just, he's there. He's there with them. He's the monster right now. But yeah, they, they all traveled out past the gates for various reasons. <laughs> then they got ambushed by a bunch of gnolls, and here's where we are. Yay! Also, we might happen from each one place to another, know. but, you know. It's We're very sus of one another. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, I Maddie, a, I love yeah, the weird gonna, 70s the rocker voice of your character in comparison. Yeah, 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 she's the lawyer. yeah she's, she lawyer. just goes off like this all the time. I, those two voices oh. together would be an amazing podcast. <laughs> That's <laughs> basically what we do on Wednesdays, Ross, yeah, honestly. Yeah, you tell him what's up. <laughs> yeah, we're two smart ones in the party, right? <laughs> we're, the, we're the smart ones in the party, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So our story takes place across the pond. We just like, got sin here. I'll give you all the details. Right, so Cheshire, right? 
<laughs> Last Wednesday, Cian got a wild magic surge that put him up one size category from being small to regular size, and he You're doesn't know how to handle size. that. <laughs> so. And here we go. <laughs> All right. We have. We pass I think it we over to Rog. In needing initiative. I think <laughs> we did, in fact, end with exactly needing initiative. <laughs> oh. Rob, you look lost. I Fine. feel Who lost. Confused. I feel, Don't worry, guys. He's new at this. I feel like there is more gray <laughs> than there was earlier. Just do what I do and dye your hair crazy colors. We've we've almost had a hundred subs. Like oh, you're right. Let we started alone started at forty four. Let right? alone the cheers. Let alone the follows. Let alone right. anything else. I made David, a stretch goal. I'll make a custom mimic. Because then you'll keep going. I made like <gasps> I made That's a stretch goal so literally like what fifteen minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> I just like the comment. do. I do can't you get Robert sweating or crying or both? Do you? Uh, but yeah, <laughs> me too. Kristen. <laughs> do you? Do like do you eventually get big enough on Twitch that this stuff doesn't mean anything to you? Because I'm not there. I don't know. Like now, I feel like very. In a different state. I don't know well, how to run a game. I don't know how to run a game worthy of this. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like we were gonna. We won't know until we play one. We were gonna find a knoll and look for some motherfucker in a red shirt. Woo! Yeah, hope, you know. It, Whoa. it worked. Somebody uh, said, "Show the rat oh. for subs." <laughs> oh my god! That covered no. up like the whole. That was fifth. 50 subs. Wait, oh what? my heck. You so guys so killed much. Rob. He's you so gone. Much. Wait, how much how much money is that supposed to be? Too much. Betsy, can you get up and say thank you? That, oh. Okay. That, that, that one got Oh me. lord. Hot, hot damn. Wow. Uh, you know, I was I was asked by somebody earlier this week if we swore on this Twitch yeah, channel. Manny. And I said, I try not to, but fuck. I think we're going to get to custom mimic, unfortunately, within a few minutes. So that's fine. I mean, you know, we're, we're I was, done. That beat 200 right there. I was joking yeah. about us taking an hour before we started, but like, yeah, <laughs> here we are. Maddie, Rob Apollo, the gift of prophecy. <laughs> A-E-I-E-O -E Jaeger. Just because Rob and I will figure out details, but it'll either be one of the two winners already getting pulled or a third, but somebody's gonna get to make a custom mimic. Dream element. Telling me the colors they want because we got there <laughs> and because somebody just gave 50 subs because they saw this gremlin. I mean, I would do the so... same if I was in that financial position. I love Vex. Yeah, Maddie made a comment on Facebook that was like, tell all of the rats that I love them and then whisper to Beck that I love her. See most. how many of my friends <laughs> who like aren't in chat got gifted subs. Okay, I'm so curious what happens if we run out of viewers to give the subs to, because there's only so many of y'all in here right now. It and we just someone got a lot. the void into the chat. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> To go through the follower list because there's a few. Oh, that's true. List. I think that might be what it does. But oh, holy, yeah. Rob has not slept, yeah. and you made him emotional. Look what you've done. Oh, <laughs> oh. Rog. <laughs> hey, playing with myself got gifted a sub. <laughs> Where did it go? <laughs> Yay! You just love. This is the comment. Show rat. For Show sub. rat. For and then sub. we got fifty. Go rat. Stop. <laughs> if someone wants to see Do more it. pets, we can get more pets in yeah. here. I'll pull Manny, out the list. Uh -huh. Manny gave out fifty more. Hey. Manny, oh, what gosh. the fuck? <laughs> Manny. Look, still I can't, can't. What is? Still can't buy. Yeah. Hey, can't. nailed it. Wasn't subbed either. <laughs> <laughs> and Larissa. <laughs> I'm, I'm a good adventurer. I would sell before. And Larissa. I'm so glad you guys <laughs> are here so that somebody on this channel can fucking talk right now. <laughs> Take your time, Rog. This is crazy. Far, far away. 
Somebody just said, and you might not appreciate this, Rob, but somebody just said, when Rob inevitably passes out from generosity, can the precious baby rat be the new DM? I, I know who is saying that, so I will let it slide. <laughs> Thank you, by the way, to Gold T for an Audi 622. Welcome to the madness. I don't want y'all coming here to get washed over in the wild generosity of our... Uh, incredible guys this is manny's first stream i think yeah <laughs> manny said Highlighted this fun. was fun <laughs> <laughs> it'll be fun for me in the morning right now oh man i all have torn this man apart i felt <laughs> I, I, thing I felt like a man about an hour ago i don't know what i am now i'm not um Real men cry. Remember when we were just like introducing ourselves and yeah. Crash and I swapped places? And that we, was just the extent of the insanity. We were we like, ha ha ha, quirky funny. Then. Here we are. We went through a whole arc. <laughs> we are not playing. We really did. It's been an hour. <laughs> we grown as people. M Manny? Cup of Tiefling, thank you for the follow. I like the Tiefling joke. Manny's, thank you for the five more subs. Look, I have oh, I'm a. Used to the makeup fairy, I love her. I have a finite <laughs> amount of gratitude that I can express, and we ran out of it like forty-five minutes ago. I. <laughs> okay, then we'll switch it up. How about each one of us does a different emotion of ways to react to it? For cool. example, yeah. I could just be angry at somebody. Dibs <laughs> on this one. Stop it. <laughs> We yeah. did for the Dive Florenty video. That'll come yeah, out eventually. Like, if someone it, like subs, then I just have to be irrationally <laughs> angry. Maddie yeah. has to... You have to cry. I be like that. really, really the just only, down I'm always on the verge only of tears. The only human so emotion that I can, I can that. show is just that face crash that you say isn't a real human face, where I'm just like... <laughs> That's a good one. Which one of then, us is working about this? I was trying to think of other emotions. <laughs> sprinkle, uh, sprinkle. I like the Anchorman reference. I love that yeah, movie. Yeah, who's getting, who's getting in the hot tub right now? Uh, Manny just highlighted. Said, "Let's play some D and D with a question mark." Bet whatever you say, Manny. Let's go. Yeah. Manny, how can we possibly <laughs> refuse? I'm gonna preemptively before I forget roll the initiative because I started two and then I. Started. Oh yeah, that'd probably oh, be a good thing to that's do. That's what we need to do. Yeah, Even why don't? We're gonna oh, no, be no, the there. I just know it's coming. I feel Roll like for initiative, guys. I might... We're gonna fight some gnolls eventually. Uh, there's yeah. there's gonna be a VOD of this. <laughs> People are gonna go to YouTube and they're gonna watch an hour of not D and D. <laughs> Love if you've made them. it this far on the Can VOD, I salute you. Make it a we'll, separate we'll video? A, put a time stamp. Like, you yeah, time you stamp. Break it. Yeah, Actually break play. It. Yeah. <laughs> you have to have a time stamp for, like, when Rob starts crying, too. But then yeah. also the, when we start doing. We do, like, the spoiler alert tags, but it's just like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, put the thumbnail like an It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. That's, like, the one where Rob cries. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're not making fun. We're happy for you. I'm, I'm, it's, it's not. I mean, it's not like I'm making out like a bandit. This is going to, to the to the company. But I was having a talk with coworkers this weekend, talking about how I really love this part of the job, and how I like the community that we're building. And I love the people, and I love that I get to do my favorite thing in the world. I'm gonna hang on. Oh, wrong second. Grim You're gonna make Titanic me cry song. if you cry. That's uh, what I was thinking too. <laughs> that I get to do D and D with cool people as a job and get paid for it. I mean, I do other stuff too, but this is—I mean, this is actually part of my job description. But how it was gonna take a while for anything to like come of this, and for like this to be a financial contribution to the company and i mean this is a fucking proof of concept this is this is the first time that i've felt like i'm not robbing john every month when he pays me 
We should could give you a hug right now, Rob. I know we all want I one. Want I, feel, one. I feel bad that I readied up the my heart will go on out of tune flute version. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hang on. You used to know how to fucking bury. recorder. Bu hang on, I I'm gonna I'm gonna be <laughs> mad bury. instead. Fucking Harbinger Viking, you don't get to laugh. <laughs> yeah, that's our job. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> we are here to belittle. Excuse me, this isn't the out of tune flute version. That is the in tune mm. version. What is wrong with you? That's Will, <laughs> guys, Harbinger Viking is John's brother. Um. <gasps> Who I've worked oh. some shows with. He he yeah. has a much more impressive beard than me. Um, <laughs> Impossible. Is I haven't checked in with you in a minute, Will. Do you have the kid, or is the kid coming? Let let somebody that know. That sounds so ominous. Out of yeah. context. Have you um, called also, the child? Shout out the to Plasma child. Spartan for subbing with Prime. I okay, see look. Look. Okay, I love that. Subscribing My God, with Prime, I don't feel as awkward food. about. <laughs> um, because that's 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 smart and clever and doesn't take food out of the mouths of people. Um, thank you for uh, oh inspiration for me. <laughs> from Jaeger. Thank you for the DM's accomplice. I am marking it down. Uh -oh. And if you guys haven't put in your channel points for the magic item yet, you've had an hour worth racked up now while we're just, you know, that is true. sitting here. Just saying, because I can I'm only put in a max and I've already hit it. I'm going, to, I, I'm going to really try to give you guys some content now. I don't know when this is going to stop. <laughs> yeah, it, okay, uh, it's, for it's the night. like when I got hidden for a while. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, you still are. It's. it's I, I would love oh, that. I oh, I I had you're not that hit points. <laughs> I just opened my character sheet and I forgot I had temporary hit points. Hell yeah! Oh, sick. Way to go. Ooh. Also, apparently, uh, the child is three months, three months old now. Okay, man, it's been a while since we've oh. seen each other. Will. That's um, less ominous than the original question. Oh, Issy pointed out that there was also a PC's accomplice last stream. If you missed it, no. Immunity Prism challenge fifty percent complete. Prismatic oh. lightning. <laughs> More things just keep popping up. When, yeah. uh, where did they come from? <laughs> did they join Who tonight too? <laughs> Besties, we can't keep playing D and D if y'all keep sending us pretty gifts. Guys, you're I mean, girl bossing too close like to the sure. sun here. <laughs> I haven't I given out five subs it. in my life. <laughs> And that's 50 from th three people, almost 50 from a fourth. Hey, April wasn't subbed either. I'm getting all the tea. <laughs> You're just making a list of all of them. <laughs> it's my hit list. <laughs> I'm also Aww, on that list. you guys made Rob turn into a turtle. I thought you were about to say you made Rob turn into a turd, and I was like, Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> Bold. My mean side's coming out. Get ready. I hidden in plain turd. sight. That's what I'm trying to do, is hide in plain sight. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> oh, Go stop breaking Rob! Is there... <laughs> you look like Sub-Zero. That's a compliment. Yeah, it's he's a cosplay, nice. dude. Jane, Jane used to say I looked like a knight. And this is like me in a visor. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh my I, god! I, I like I like the comment we just got that says D and D is cool, but who doesn't love love? And I am <laughs> no. feeling love you in know, this chat tonight. You got me there. <laughs> oh, Manny! Dungeon Master again, P, AD? thank you for the follow. <laughs> <laughs> We're never, we're never going to get anywhere tonight. Oh my god. <laughs> the note of initiative Does Manny know even I'm know us? Four, so Does Prismatic Lightning oh, even know us? Does Io Jaeger even know us? Have they watched sure us they do know. anything? I'm sure they know <laughs> one of us. At least. They, they'd oh. have to. Unless we just like popped up and they were feeling super generous or something. Who'd you come to see? <laughs> 
I mean, we got Who do you know? For, for a rat. Who told you? <laughs> Where are you coming from? Alright. Don't don't sing it, the who don't want to get hit with anything. I'd about to say I I was about to, Elysium. I was about to, and it wasn't gonna be good either. <laughs> I do love secretly Mr. Beaks. <laughs> I look little to my dear darling little Icy who cosplayed um Nimwin in like zero seconds uh, flat. I have no idea. I was homeschooled. I can't count that high. <laughs> God have mercy. I know of the company, and I was gifted. A, so you're returning the favor, that buddy. Aww. That. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She <laughs> Sheepy says secretly, Mister Beast. <laughs> it's an alt you account. Match it? It's you guys are all just so nice. What the oh. heck? Oh, I was sitting in the Discord to watch campaign episode two together because we were amazing. They watched the first episode. Oh, hey KJ. Hi. <laughs> KJ, hey, hi, hey, honey. KJ, hey, KJ, baby. Everybody's okay. in here tonight. Hello. Yeah, have party. Your, I have your ears. Fuck. I just gotta put some backers on them for you. I'm finding more friends of mine getting subs here. This is fun. <laughs> it's like I was Waldo. good. I was already subbed. <laughs> I did my my duty. First th first time watching us is Manny. And he's gonna here. Manny's yeah, gonna I'm watch here. us. Here. Manny's gonna watch us play and then fuck off. I can't believe <laughs> we're, we're gonna start combat and he's gonna be like. I can't believe I supported this. <laughs> I would like my money back. Yes. <laughs> That I have half a mind to give this. Thank goodness, though, D and D time doesn't run in real time, or else my uh, more dread would be long gone. <laughs> <sighs> Guys, I don't. We do have rats. There's a few people in the chat tonight who can vouch for the fact that I'm not typically an emotional person. Like, I'm gonna be exhausted all fucking week from just the past hour. Like the oh, you wanna see the dragons? Yeah. <laughs> okay. There's oh, not Rob, there's we not might stretch need to goals. Make a new stretch goal, yeah, I was gonna say. What, oh yeah. What well, else can, can I do? Can figure it out. We can figure it out during the break. Get a little yeah. 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 Break it. oh, <laughs> look, it's break time. It's all I mean it's, it's actually almost break, break time. time. <laughs> well Okay. Okay. This break's gonna be a little late, guys. <laughs> okay, yeah. for the sake of my f already admittedly fragile sanity, um, <laughs> I'm gonna do my best to ignore the activity feed and thank people after our break, which is coming soon. <laughs> okay, let's let's kill some gnolls. Let's roll some dice. Let's let Rob do something that he understands and is comfortable with. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't have drank that before. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Made yourself sad. Yo. I got more. Huh. <laughs> Bray. Manny, Ma Manny, thank you for the hundred bits. For, uh, yeah, Vexy specifically. Chicken leg. Look at the little toes. Look at the little chicken feet. <laughs> little okay. tiny okay. skinny ankles. <laughs> yeah. It's like one of those people that wears their pants just slightly above the ankle so you can see them. <laughs> God, Rob. Oh, he's centering himself. Getting ready to murder us. That's what happened. TPK. In, in T case, <laughs> in case you haven't, <laughs> in case you haven't been at the end of any of our streams yet, <laughs> we typically say this thing. In case you do not hear it anywhere else this week, we love you guys. And it is not because of everything that just happened. Because we say it at the, begin at the end of every stream. Whether we have five viewers and no subs. Or whether we have something like this. Uh, you guys are amazing. Uh, we don't deserve you guys. Um, we just are friends and people who like this game and dice and cosplaying and giving me a hard time and putting putting beards on our faces 
to to imitate me and doing bathroom dances, Jane. Imagine if we were um, in those tonight. <laughs> it could happen. It's easy to imagine for me. They can always have a comeback. Uh huh. Let's... I don't want to break you more, but we have 56 viewers, which is the highest we've ever had. It got up to 59 a little bit ago. Guys, can we get it to 69? I want. <laughs> I don't ask for <laughs> much. <laughs> I'm not a needy <laughs> person. Yeah. And if you yeah. would, I want this I'll, one. I'll put, start watching on my on phone, phone, and that'll be one more. <laughs> just, just for you, Jane. Got to get that nice number. Rolled a shockingly good initiative, and I never roll good initiatives. And I'm really oh, I didn't. Don't worry. <laughs> Rolled a twenty-one. So, I'm I'm gonna do this thing in a second here, Ooh. where we actually Ooh, have the surprised condition. What? What? I was just gonna say because because Crash said sixty-nine, as my friend Neil would say. Wow, that's the weed number. Yep, <laughs> it's my favorite thing to just switch those. <laughs> Okay. We're gonna we're gonna Einstein a little bit. We're gonna keep letting we're gonna keep letting that musical chime play. We're going to switch <laughs> to some exciting monster music. Yeah. Oh, you're so sleepy now. Did you get excited? And guys, as I get to roll my Fangs of Winter new campaign, Blue Tiger's Eye Dice, for the third time. I'm going to roll initiative, and if you've already rolled it, let me know if you got higher than a 20, please. I did, by one. Dorian. Because I have a plus four to my initiative. Dang. I love my best friend and all of his spooky strengths. 15 to 20. Wait a minute, like a quarrel. Got a 19, right now. I got a plus three. <laughs> a 19 and a plus three. Got... I'm going to write these down so I don't forget. All right, 10 to 15. Viewer. Got a 14. 14. You barely edged out the gnolls. Yes. We going to get their asses. So, Sebast, what are we rocking? Wait. Oh, I have an addition, but seven. Seven. <laughs> All right. So... Do. Gotta write down. This is the first time I've written all of your names by hand on my little list. Someone put Spooky Scary Dorian in the chat, and I keep just thinking, like, Spooky Scary Dorian. So true. So what I'm gonna do for Halloween. What I'll do for Halloween is put, like, one of the albino pumpkins on my head. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Can we carve jack o' lanterns like our character? Yeah, oh, please. I'm just gonna paint it blue and throw a wig on it. <laughs> Mine is just gonna be a snake <laughs> or mantis. <laughs> All right. Or so, you know that thing that nobody does right in D and D. We're gonna try and do it right today. So, mm. we're going through the first round of initiative because there are two creatures who. Crit their stealth checks. Forgot. They have the element of surprise. Everyone else, including their friend in the initiative order, lacks surprise this round. So in the first round of combat, you cannot move or take an action. Weirdly, you can take a bonus action, apparently, or free actions, talk, drink a mug of ale, you know, what all the things that free actions do. But mm. it is likely that we are going to come to the top of the initiative order without much having changed on the hero's side. But we're going to give you all the opportunity to do some stuff, cast some preparatory spells. You do all know that there is one knoll somewhere on the other side of the hill because Nimwin made a point of shouting about it. Uh, and Nimwin and Dorian can see that knoll from their position at the top of the hill. Both Naya and Sebast are running up the far side of the hill and currently unaware of anything except for the hideous grotesque creature once known as Dorian and Nimwin. So, Dorian, at the top of the initiative, you are aware of one knoll and can do something with your bonus action. Uh, bonus 
action. I don't know if I have many things I can do with the bonus action. That jingle is still playing. I... <laughs> Swarm of Dread is my Merit only bonus dread. action Hell thing. Yeah. I already have taken Form of Dread. So the only prep thing that I can really do is go ahead. If it's just bonus action, I don't have anything to do. So I'll just take out my sickly looking dagger, my long overgrown clawed hand, and just hold it. Ugh. All right. That is Dorian. Naya, you are currently surprised at the start of initiative. You're on the other side of the hill. Do you have anything to do with the bonus or free action? Um, since we were actively running, like, up and down the hills, like, can I just keep moving? Or uh, is that... I don't know. Per the rules, you are currently in the process of doing that. Okay. But I'm getting a chance to do something in a in a secret surprise round. Or not a surprise round. Mm -hmm. But there are going to be two actions taken while you are in the process of doing that. Okay. So I'm, but I'm able to keep moving. I'm like not just like. Correct. Okay. Really, As it, the best way to the best way to think of this is while you are doing that, something mm -hmm. is already in the process of happening. Okay. Gotcha. gotcha. Um, Nimwin, same question. Um, I think I'm going to. Yes, I'm going to cast Sanctuary on myself. Okay. So if any creatures um, try to target and attack me or hit me with a harmful spell, they have to make a Wisdom saving throw first. Um, and if they fail, they have to choose a new target or lose the attack. And it holds on me until I make an attack or cast a spell that affects an enemy or deals damage. Excellent. And that is concentration, yes? I don't know. Let me double check that. Uh, it is not concentration. Even better, but you don't get to attack while you have it on, right? Yes. Cool. Mm. That is a good use of a bonus action. Thank We're going to move you. down to three gnolls now. One of them is also surprised uh, because his friends were acting without his cooperation. But two gnolls, hitherto unseen, are both attacking the thing that they perceive as the biggest threat on the top of the hill to try and bring the giant down. And that is definitely the undead monster boy. So, it's going to be two attacks at advantage with longbows at Dorian. Because they are unseen. That is going to be an 18 for the first hit. Mm-hmm. All right. You need. I'll go ahead and tell you now. You need a fifteen. A fifteen. I'm gonna make it both times. I'm gonna see if I crit. I don't. Attack number one does nine damage. Attack number two maxes out at ten. Okay. Jeez. Not making that noise because of that. I'm making that noise because I'm reaching for form of bread. That's what I. <laughs> He's so spooky. <laughs> I now, gotta draw him man. all scary and spooky. And now he looks I like draw that just with... a straight nasty man. <laughs> now I have it... eleven temporary hit points because of my form of dread. So That's I... good. That is very good. That definitely helps. Very convenient. Um, so he looks like that now, except with two arrows and him and blood spurting out from the holes they made. How much was the damage? I didn't hear. Like, how much? Uh, that was uh, 7 plus 2 and an 8 plus 2, so 19. Alright, so my 11 is gone, and I only take 8. That's pretty clutch. Oh. Not gonna lie. See, I wasn't worried about you guys whatsoever. Uh, that, oh. that takes us down to Sebast, also running up the hill. Nice. Great I'm song. not that building. <laughs> <laughs> Someone um, put, to make a deal with with Rog in the chat. Deal with Rog. Yeah. What? <laughs> Who's still making fun of me? I'm having a wonderfully tough night. <laughs> um, how close? Uh, if Bal I Rog, up, guys. If anyway, I run up uh, the hill with Nia or Naya. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. There's a lot happening. Uh, <laughs> uh. How close are all of the gnolls in proximity to them and also each other? So, since you are 
surprised this round by the two sneaky guys. You don't have an action or a move while oh, your that's character right. is still pumping. We're handling this that is kind of happening while you are running. So, okay. for some weird yeah. reason, this gap in <laughs> this gap in 5e, you can take a bonus action or a free action to draw a weapon. Uh, yeah, I'll draw my scimitar. Sounds good. All right. Now we're going to get into good old D&D initiative that everybody understands. Yay! We are at the top of the round with Dorian, who rolled a 21. You are, have two new piercings, uh, yeah. which is hot. What have you got going on? I had hellish rebuke, and it's too late now. <gasps> no. Hey, look, this this is a night of generosity. So if you want to go ahead no, and do a hellish a rebuke, you have a different thing. I have a different plan. Wow. If it works, I will wait and ask. Um, how close are all of the gnolls to each other right now? And how far away from me are they? So one's coming a around each side of the next hill, and one is at the top of the hill. Uh, the okay. nearest one is the one that you had detected. It is about 60 feet away. Another one is about 70 feet away off to the left. And there's about 40 feet between them. And there's one kind of splitting the difference 20 feet away from either one, but farther away. It is 90 feet away from you. Okay. This needs to have them really close together. So I will hold on that spell until later. Uh, I'm going to go up 30 feet mm -hmm. so that as they keep getting closer, I can maybe next round just the spell that I have in mind. Um, and I'm going to pop off an Eldritch Blast at the one shot at me. Okay. <laughs> Bless uh, you here. There are two that shot at you. Two. two of them, both of them hit you. So do you want the one on the top of the hill or one on the left side? But the one on the one on the top of the hill is the furthest away, right? Yes. I want that one to see if I can make it come closer. Got you. I think it's at this level one blast. Let me make sure. Beam of energy at level five. Yeah, that's when it goes up. So I just one blast. So sorry I woke you up to bless the dice. I'm so sorry. I just I woke you up from your <laughs> good nap. It was worth it, Vex, because that was... 19 in total, a 13 plus 6. Gosh, yes. This thing does not have that kind of armor. <laughs> will be. Oh my god, that's 10 points of damage because I rolled the zero. <gasps> Hell yeah. That's, that's 10 points of Eldritch Blast to that one. Okay, let's see. Like, it's kind of nasty, but like, not even like, just, it's not even like to be as an action. He's not going to actually pull anything out, but, like, you guys watch, like, Zach is, like, dripping from his eyes and stuff like that as he's, like, trying to grab and pull the Ew. arrows out. Um, for... So nasty. For reasons, let's have two volunteers. Uh, Crash and Somebody Ellie, would you both roll a d10 for me? Somebody in chat uh, yes. said that I'm quieter, and I don't know why, but somebody in Alright, I'm gonna, quieter. I'm gonna spoil the display a little bit. Actually, one of them did. Okay. And now Ty should be 50% louder. Uh, four, <laughs> thank you, four. Crash? Two. Two, thank you. Uh, Dorian, what is your passive perception? You had six more gnolls, I swear to God. Thirteen. Thirteen? Uh, you note... Not my hmm? wisdom isn't as high as it could be, but that's okay. It's fine. Your dex is way up there, though. Uh, you note, as now you are only 30 feet away from the closest of the gnolls, these gnolls look as though they have already been wounded. Their mm -hmm. fur is wet and matted and kind of crusty from rapidly drying blood. Um, it looks like there are piercing wounds. Uh, on their upper torsos and arms. Like, not all that long ago, they were part of a different fight. But as you are noting that, you don't have time to think about that thing. You and your friends are in danger, and you are getting perforated quickly. So you throw out a bolt of arcane force that lights into the chest of one, searing away part of its hide armor. And you see it wince, not only because of what you have done, but that you have applied force damage to an already open wound 
and it howls into the air. Good turn, good action. You have moved, you have cast a spell. Anything else? Mm, my bonus is still going of, of, of my former dread. All right. Uh, this is not really a thing in 5e, but it's kind of a terminology that a lot of players appreciate knowing. You think that with what you just did to that knoll and the wounds that it already sustained, that it is bloodied. It is below half its hit points, the one at the top of the hill. Okay. All right. That brings us to Naya. I'm going to say, you, with the sprinting that you were doing, and you guys were running pell-mell up towards mm -hmm. these guys there at the end of the last session, as I recall, you're mm -hmm. only 30 feet from catching up with Nifflin at the top of the hill where you can see what is going on. So, can we see all three knolls then, or...? Not until it... you reach the top of the hill. Okay. You have to crest that, and then you will have a view of what's going on on the other hilltop and the valley between. Okay. So, I'm able to get up to the top of the hill, though? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna get there, I'm running, and, like, she's nervous, because she, she never done shit like this before, and as she's running, uh, Sebast would probably be able to actually hear this. You just hear a little bit of, like, crackling, and her hair starts to kind of frizz out, and, like, little shocks of, like, lightning, like, mini lightning kind of go through her eye, her eyes, her ears, her hair! There are body parts. <laughs> I, look, I, I, know, hair hair hair. I know this feeling right now. And as she gets to the top, she just, like, reaches toward the one in, uh, that's, like, at the top of the hill in front of her, and just a beam of lightning uh, shoots out at it, and that's going to be my Eldritch Blast. Um, and that is a 16 to hit. 16 to hit, and you're aiming for the same one that was just took damage on the top of the hill? I'm assuming it's the most obvious one, so, like... At this yeah. point, they're all standing with longbows, but I will definitely take that. They all have the same armor class. None of them have their shields out. They're wielding longbows with both hands, so that will hit any of them you're interested in. Beautiful. So that is going to be a 7 plus 3, so that's 10 points of damage. And then she is probably going to reach out with the other one and, like, try to shoot at the other one and then realize that nothing comes out and be like, Okay, I can do it once! <laughs> like, every six seconds... Lightning! <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> only one! After she casted her hair, starts to kind of go back down. <laughs> that is awesome. Ten points of damage. Uh, mm. Just kind of over the shoulder of the charging undead thing that is Dorian. Um, mm. Your bolt of lightning cracks and splits the air between you. It's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. And, uh, <laughs> and it can feel it. And... It has. It is as hurt as it can be, and still stay on its shaking legs. Ooh, that's right. This thing is freaking wrecked. The bonus action, Dorian turns and like ooh, smiles and waves at you, like thank you, but like it just looks like a <laughs> no yeah, <with> the exposed <laughs> teeth. <laughs> hey. If he says the worst thing, I think she's gonna be like, "Thank you." I'm good. No, I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Listen, listen, the party said I'm making beautiful, gorgeous, hot women, and I went, I'm going to ruin that. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't complaining. Um, so, that, I think, will be Naya's turn. Um, mm -hmm. Anything else? That's all I got. All right. <laughs> oh. ah. <laughs> uh, we're going to step down then to the, the Seder Furbolg hybrid that is... Uh, currently as safe as anyone on this hillside can be. <laughs> Just chilling out in the middle of everything and still safe. Um, she's gonna sort of turn to Naya and first she's gonna say, So he says thank you! And um, then she's gonna kind of whirl back behind Naya and run over past Dorian, and I'm going to use my channel divinity, Balm of Peace. Um, so I can move up to my speed uh, without provoking any opportunities of attack, and when I move within five feet of any other creature, I will restore 2d6 plus my wisdom modifier of hit points. So Lovely. Dorian gets 16 Ooh. hit points back. Nice. And, um, I was about to check I'm, with you about something, but it's not a spell, is it? It's your channel divinity. It is not, and I, it's not at an enemy, and it doesn't do damage. Mm -hmm. 
Um, gotcha. So my sanctuary should still be up. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to kind of skip, spin, and roll through the chaos past Dorian to heal him and sort of hop out on the other side of the little grouping a little ways away from the uh, scuffle that is currently ensuing. Um, and then... Oh, dang, uh, I forgot something else I could have done. Never mind. <laughs> second session, guys. Um, we, look, we had a very distracting run up to this. That was just very this true. fight. This little random encounter. So since that is a channel divinity, mm -hmm. it does not count as a cast spell, correct? That is correct. So then, just to top it off, because I care so much about my friend Dorian, I will do a bonus action healing word for uh, six hit points for my friend. And Ooh. that will be my turn. Now, just just to Am play I devil's advocate this? here, yes, you could try and heal him for a little more. Good question, though. Uh, Did you not, not yet. say sixteen <laughs> points a second ago? Yes, this is an additional uh, healing word on top I, of that. Because I'm already at max. If you want to take that back, <laughs> okay. <laughs> then um, she will Oops. not healing word uh, after all, and I'll just yes, hey, another healing if, with all that damage. Healing word on top of it. <laughs> And he's just you're like, <laughs> <laughs> do you feel better now? Ah, <laughs> I need more, never. I need more. Like he sounds different with his mouth. Like <laughs> like the way I'll I envision form of dread is like from the corners what? of the mouth that the skin his skin mm -hmm. has ripped open, like a Joker smile. Yeah. We didn't. Need we more. live in a society. <laughs> okay. Uh. Well, with oh, Dorian. Actually, Real mm -hmm. quick, Nimwin will also call across to the two strangers and just go, I'm Nimwin, by the way! Naya! <laughs> and that's our turn. And that's the end. Ready for okay, okay. This is Dorian! Alright, so... Hi! It's not even a hello. It's not even a hello. It's just like a... <laughs> kind of oh. noise. Oh. Oh. Love this spooky <laughs> friend like as tall as you are now but hunched over <laughs> <laughs> so currently no one is in melee with any of the gnolls they are going to bark and yip at one another in a language I'm definitely assuming none of you speak um, but they have a, a very quick conference and all draw arrows on their longbows again. And they're going to fire. I note that. Thank you, Payden, buddy. Uh, they're going to pick a new target. No, they're not. Dorian's still the closest thing to them, and Dorian oh. seems to be supported... Those meanies. And Dorian just hit someone equally as hard as Naya <laughs> did. So they're gonna all try and uh and shoot you down. So here we go. One of them is getting a second level hellish rebuke back, and I say second level because as a warlock I don't have anything first level. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> nice. Let's see if any, let's see if any of them hit you, first of all. I was bought yeah. a guy an inspiration. I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Oh boy. And I look, I can do this thing where I can take my bonus away. Ah, look, I used it. Oh, wait. Peyton got me another one. I'll take it back. <laughs> uh, the first one's going to be a 17 to hit. Yes. Okay. Uh, do you want to rebuke? This is the one on the left-hand side of the hill. No one has hit it yet, but it's already been wounded again. Um, no, I want to end up rebuking whichever one does the most damage. Okay. Well, let's see. That damage, then... Because this is going to be a big hitter. <laughs> I can it, tell you that right now. It's going to be four damage okay. for that hit. Okay, that one's that, probably not that guy, then. All right. Next one's going to be a 14 to hit. Oh, nope, that one doesn't. Ooh, okay. A stunder. Need a 15. But let's, you said four, not let's try for number three... That's going to be a 13 plus 3. That's a 16 to hit. These dice one, are pretty good. Alright. 
Here comes that hit. It's the very wounded one that missed you, by the by. Uh, and that is the same amount of damage. God dang it. Well, now I'm just gonna... Okay, you know what? Above 10, it's the one. The first hit. Below, it's... Okay, it was below, so it's the last one that hit me. That's All the right. one that's getting hella rebuked. Roll your damage a... up. Well, I think it has to make... Oh, my computer. It does have to make a deck save, and it can take half, but you can go ahead and roll it. Making sure that my points are on... I'll mark on in a second that I did that. I'm going to go yeah, ahead and just... tick that inspiration off, because why not go ahead and use it? Because It that's... might not help too much. This is 3d10. I mean, it didn't help anyway, because I rolled again and I got a 1 on the second one, so... Oh, oh no. That will be... Oh my gosh. Okay, there's a 9. And the pulley, that's my low Well, one. thank you, Irish. And the 7. Let me do my mathies. By the way, as uh, she does her mathies... 19! 19! It's a damage. Dang. Um, and I'm assuming your spell save DC is more than an 8? That's 14. Yeah, damn. Okay. Um, well, as Undead Monster Dorian gets hit by a, another arrow, which does... This was the first one y'all saw. This is his first chance to shoot anybody. He didn't get in on a surprise round. Uh, he just, like, showed up and was like, all right, here we go. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, He's the intern. <laughs> so he lands his hit, and as he is congratulating himself and doing a nice clawed fist pump, uh, he had 17 hit points left. So how does Hellish Rebuke kill him? Yeah. Before I even do that, oh. I just see somebody commented, just said that Dorian talking in form of dread is just like a Minecraft villager. <laughs> <laughs> it's just in Simlish. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, quick question though while I describe this. Is Nim still kind of close to me or not? Uh I'd say she's probably like she, ten feet she, away. She couldn't move okay. too far. Yeah. And um yeah, so as like these arrows are coming out just purely out of instinct as he feels one like like stick into him. Gets the thought as if she's like, it better not hit Nim win and like <laughs> and like flings that out. <laughs> And doesn't even probably realize that they're dead at first. Instead, it's just kind of like quickly like glancing back at her, like, are you okay? Kind of thing. Like a big hunched monster that's just Dude, turning so like good. Dracula. Turning like <laughs> Dracula, like barely moving at all. Just... <laughs> that's that's what happens. Oh man. All right, so um gnolls are of course little jackal creatures. And by little I mean as tall as a person. Um Rob hasn't heard a jackal burn to death, but let your imaginations run wild. <laughs> um, the smell of burnt hair slash wet dog starts to fill the hillside, and you guys have one less thing to worry about. Nimwin um, applauds Dorian. Uh, she's just <laughs> sort of like bouncing and clapping while he does his thing. You see, like, a little, like, bit of, like, a pink go across his cheeks, but, like, it looks like when, like, muscle is old and dried out, so it's, like, a gray Ooh, pink. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> great. Yep. Every part of this it. guy is so nasty. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh. Yes, they they are hyena creatures. Jack Jackal wears the jackal creatures. They do look very similar. I don't um, even know what a hyena sounds like. Oh yeah, hyena. Uh, yeah, I know that one. <laughs> that's that's right. Um, so it's still their hey, turn. The dingo this is was my a joke. This was a reaction <laughs> on Dorian's part. The end of the turns mm -hmm. of the two that are still living, they're going to use their their move actions to retreat. They are going to retreat over the hillside that they came on. Uh, until anyone crests that hill, you are going to have difficulty seeing these guys now. Um. But they're getting, they're definitely getting burned for, <laughs> they're definitely getting burned. They're getting more than they're bargained for, and one of them just got immolated. So yeah, they're, they're backing off a little bit. This was not an easy thing like they thought it was going to be. There's reinforcements coming over the hill, for God's sakes. Um, that will take us to Sebast. Ooh, okay. Um. So, so now you're cresting up over this hill. Okay. 
And you're uh, seeing the retreating forms of a couple of gnolls. You are high enough on the hill. Everyone else has kind of descended. You are high enough. You still have line of sight at the two of them. Hey. Okay. And I see them all... I assume that they're retreating from us? Yes, they are trying to escape the the death that is being presented to them. Okay. Then, uh... I guess... Did not expect that. So... I think from... Nah, I think I'm just gonna... I'll hold a, a thorn whip in case okay. someone happens to come back or attack someone closest to us. Boom. But I will crest the hill and just sort of look at Dory. <laughs> like, what do you fuck? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. It's got okay. arrows now that weren't there before. Great. Yeah. Um, Four of them uh, now, right? Four arrows oh, poking out of you? Yeah. Christ. Mm -hmm. It's a look. Uh, and Nimwin, would I have heard you say your name? Yeah. I'm Nimwin, by the way, and this is Dorian, is what she said. Oh, okay. So, uh, Dorian, Nimwin. No. Right. He, he with you? Yeah. Yeah. The, the thing. Ah. He's not a thing. He's a Dorian. Fine. Naya, you're seeing this too, right? Yeah. It's. Oh, that's your voice. Shit. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Happening. Oh God. It's... I. I think so. It's a weird hey. thing. Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh. Uh. They all ran that way. They're all hurt already. Oh, shh. <laughs> Hulks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. uh. You uh... were. The, the little guy? Was was that you before? Yeah, what happened to uh. the, the little lanky fella saw you running with earlier? Find Just out in a point. minute. <laughs> <laughs> what he ate him. I think I'm gonna lean over to the like, Was that a threat? I genuinely can't tell. Dorian can just do that sometimes. Wait, I don't know oh. if we're still in initiative, but if not, whenever we hit the minute mark, <laughs> just tell me, Rob. So, <laughs> I, I will say, um,. These things are retreating. That that doesn't mean they're gone. It's kind of up to you if we want to be pursuing them or not. I will say. I will note. I will. I will note some things in case it affects your decision. Um, you guys are trying to head northeast. That is the direction for your various enterprises that you are meant to go. They are retreating to the north. They're not going quite the, in the direction that you are going. So they're not on the way anymore. They are definitely within range of stuff like Eldritch Blast if you guys should be trying to pursue them. They can't get away from you that quickly. And they're moving only as fast as you guys are uh, capable of moving. Um, even with their their wounds and their limps, they are they seem to be cautiously retreating away. So, I'll, rather than go round by round and see what everyone wants to do, just, are any of you planning to chase them down? I saw three shaking heads. I'm gonna go loot the body, Nim, and he just, like, starts lumbering off. <laughs> Let me know if you need any oh. help, alright? I'm picturing, like, how the snow stalkers in Subnautica walk. <laughs> God. 
I'm gonna go loot the body for whatever I can find, and then after I'm done looting the body, he's gonna dig a little bit of a grave, put it in it, so at least it's somewhere. All Later. right. So, let's handle the looting and everything when we come back from a short break. Oh boy! Um, because hey. hot damn, are we I'm overdue so for I'm so tired one? from D and D. I'm so t- I'm very tired. Uh, I needed a break from all of this. Yeah, that was a lot. <laughs> My God. Um. So. The, the the sprinkle sound has the tinkling sparkly sound has stopped at 330 subs <laughs> oh my god oh that's a big number <laughs> uh-huh. Holy to it is a big number between a tiny handful of people just fighting yeah. with each other yeah <laughs> oh, no and you wonder why i forgot my you, ass. you guys remember when i'm like you guys know remember when i was like Let's do a stretch goal for 150. <laughs> yeah. Well, remember when I said at 200, someone got to pick a custom mimic? I can't talk anymore. I, I can't talk anymore. Um, I did note the guidance sprinkle. I did note the inspiration Irish. Thank you guys. They're, they're here respectively now. Thank you to Ventru. Best plan, by the way. Thank you so much for the Vampire the Masquerade reference. Um... Thank you to Con Dissension and Shaped Solar for the follows. Um, I dropped my pen. Not the pen. No. Um. Yeah. Thank you guys so very much. We're going to take a break. During the break, we will show an art reel that cool members of the community like yourselves have submitted fan art for some of our D&D characters from this campaign and other campaigns uh we update that every once in a while there's already been some new stuff that we need to add it's just not been added because i've been in chicago um then there will be a little teaser trailer for this campaign featuring some art we're probably going to see again in a minute and then some nice music i think i'm going to need the full the full nine minutes here so let's come back at what is my time 8 50 and uh, we will be back to y'all soon y'all also take a break oh, damn I'm gonna get a snack. Rog, Rog needs a second. <laughs> Love you guys. We'll be back shortly. Bye. See you in a minute. Bye. Oh, I'm being told I should ask.
hat on. You're about to have to tell everybody hello. We're I'm back. Gonna... Time to tell everybody hello. Just... Social hey, hat. Hello. Social hat time, Pikey. Yeah. Hello. She says absolutely not. But I'm going to make <laughs> you. <laughs> what is this? Hey. Oh, look. We got two pets on stream. Yay. Yeah. This is the most pets oh. on stream at one time that we've ever had. Oh, fluffy. <laughs> If you guys watched What Lurks in the Dark, this is the little asshole that screamed the whole time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So this is After Reed, this. and he's the best little asshole. So yeah, it, it wasn't <laughs> Huxley like everyone suspected. It was... Yeah, it was this man. It was that little guy. This criminal. Uh, guys, just so we can keep our normal streaming time, uh, and so we can squeeze a little more D&D &D into what was supposed to be a D&D &D stream originally, um... <laughs> We're going to jump into it. So, the party, disjointed though it may be, and now freshly introduced, is standing uh, in the middle of a valley between a couple of hills outside of the town of Heart's End, the town that two of them have spent their entire lives within the confines of, the town that is safe. And now they are outside of it. They are in the weird, wide world of Blackreach, where couple of gnolls can run up and try and ruin your day with a couple of arrows. And you'd better be grateful to have healing friends around if you hope to survive things like that. So in the middle of the valley is a blue-skinned, white-haired tavern girl whose hair is still gently crackling and popping with electricity. <laughs> there is a furbolg with a cute little tail and some meticulously hidden horns popping up out of the top of her head. There is a uh, warmly dressed uh, snake woman who is dusting the components of a thorn whip off of her fingertips and a rapidly shrinking and form of a normal looking boy whose flesh is just returning to the bones and mus muscle sinews on his face. These people, being Naya, Nimwin, Sebast, and Dorian, who now know one another's names. That's where we'll pick back up. Nimwin has shuffled over next to Dorian as he's looting the uh, Knoll body and is just tending to the arrows that are stuck in him and, you know, more meticulously and carefully making sure all of those wounds are okay. Um, and just encouraging him to dig through the corpse. <laughs> like as, friends do. It's a friend. As, as we hit that minute mark, like, things slowly start to, like, shrink back into him. You know, like, the bone spine start, like, <laughs> like, going back in. Start shrinking back to a normal size. And, like, he kind of, like, turns and, like, cracks his back a little bit. Uh. Oh, Nim. His new trick is going to give me early arthritis, I swear. <sighs> Probably find something to help with that, though. It work is going to help you first, though. We need to go get the flowers. It's true. I turn to our two new, uh, maybe companions. And I, I, I look very seriously at both of you and I say, You two cannot go and take those flowers, though. We need those. They're very important. Wait, flowers? hold on. Uh, flowers? We're not here to get flowers. No. What are, you talking? what are you talking about? Uh, that's a relief. Uh, wait, uh, what are look, you I mean, out here for? What are you out here for? And why did you run from us out of the gate? Em just told you we're out here for flowers and we used you as a scapegoat so that the guards wouldn't stop us. We were worried that you so... were going to get the flowers first. Yeah. Are you not supposed to be getting these flowers? No, we... I don't know, I told us to go get the flowers because it might help Nim. But... Hey. I mean, the... God, I know they look a little bit scary, but the guards... If you're stupid enough to just run outside the gates, they're not going to go after you. All you did was make yourself look suspicious. Not that you already aren't doing a great job of that. Hey, 
like you. Ma'am, I may have had a You're lapse welcome. in judgment. See, where, where, where I come from, if you, you know, if you don't talk to the gods, they don't know your name, they don't you get away from them quick, you know? Sense to me. Yeah. So you're... Oh, God. She'll kind of look both of you over. You are definitely far from home. Aren't you two? Whole time while he's like pat down in a dead body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Or he's um, gonna come I, and I, land somewhere. I'm from the Ebonwood. So, uh, definitely not from here. And you? From a little village off ways. Also, not here. Doesn't really, really a great. Place, it, to be fully honest. So, yeah. I didn't know really him really before, but. I mean, apparently our moms know each other. So. Yeah, so we're practically best friends even before we knew each other. It, what no, what look, do you call it? I is mean, it like you... cousins twice removed? Is that what you call friend? Is that how friends are? Yeah. I think that's look, the right, right math. You too, please. Look. I mean that you all don't look like you belong on this continent. Let alone anywhere near Hartstone. I so, mean, there's a yeah. lot of people who look like me where, where I came from. Um... Yeah, look, I mean this in the best never, possible right? way. You look like my dad did back when I was just a little thing. Not necessarily a good way to stand out. Mm. I mean, you wear it just fine, but what I mean is you all look like you've got targets just on your foreheads. What exactly are you doing in Blackreach? For context, I remind you that the person saying that they don't look like they belong here at all is a snake woman. <laughs> yeah, and we don't, we don't know just, better. Just saying, just saying. Yeah, like they would know. Yeah, Maybe no, them fair. thinks there's a whole city of snake people out here. Oh, there is. Uh, <laughs> um, Nimwin kind of looks to Dorian and kind of shrugs and then turns back and goes... I just have something that I need help with, and Dorian helps me, and um, uh, Eleanor back in the city helps me. But we needed a certain ingredient that's out here, so we, we, we came out. Me. Yes, she's really nice. Huh. Mm -hmm. she's when really did nice. you all get into town? Well, well, now it's like four days ago. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, I've been here a little longer than that, um, but not very long. I don't really have anywhere else. My mom told me to to come here, Jeez. and that's here I am. Me too. Uh, so wh where, where have you guys been, or like, where are you staying? Because I haven't seen you. I haven't either. I got a shack. Nice. Yeah. I mean, we all do, in some yeah. way, but... I, I mean, they, the people I'm staying with, they're very nice, I think they're afraid of me. But they, they let me stay out back in the shack. They oh, didn't care when Nimwin people. showed up. Oh. Yeah. Right. Who are you staying with? I wrote it down. They are the... Totally, but it's Valentine, right? Valentine is the Lord Provost, and he is the patriarch of the family. Yeah. Oh. That guy. With them? How How do you was, know them? It was written Dead. on a note that my mother left me. I don't actually know them. I just they read the letter. I don't know what it said. They seem nervous, and now here we are. So you sh you should know they are not nice people. They've been pretty nice to us so far. I mean, they gave us a bed when Nim showed up. I mean, obviously you've got it's... something that they want, which is power. 
I mean, geez, you're an absolute nightmare. Thank you. I mean that kindly. But, you know, not <laughs> not you right now. You look pretty normal, but he's very horrifying, and I'm very proud of him. Yeah, and honestly, I mean this in the best way possible. But you look far too soft to have survived even two days in this place. I grew up, I had to learn how to be careful, but that doesn't mean I had to stop being soft. I can't help it, really. And she kind of rubs the, like, fuzzy fur on her arms. Do you get it? She it's does kind of crack a smile, and she's just like, <laughs> oh my god, she really is just... So and head then, empty, heartful. <laughs> oh no! And I was trying to get I'm just mode. not to pet this woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, big time. Real quick. I just realized that means Sebast and Nimwin have like the polar opposite skin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> In terms of like niceness to pet. <laughs> oh, so, you're so like stimming. Before we <laughs> gonna come, let's just. I was just going to say, as you guys were talking, Dorian's been pouring over the bloodied and battered corpse of this knoll. Um, you said that you are looting it. And just so Rob knows how to inform you what you find, how are you going about looting this creature? And I, I won't ask this every time. I just want to get a feel for, mm -hmm. does Dorian rummage about in the innards? Does he... Open up a stomach oh. and see what it ate? Do you just go through its pockets? Do you look for what it has equipped? What are we talking here? Yeah, he's going to start by going through the pockets, seeing if there's anything useful on it that it was either using or had on hand that maybe if one of us four could have use of. Being the one who noticed that they had had prior, uh, prior um, cuts and bruises and stuff like that. Afterwards, he is going to start like like somewhat of like medical precision or like just precision of use to like dead things. He's going to start like kind of like picking at some of that, trying to pull it out, trying to see if he can figure out where or what did harm that they did, like that we did not do. So it's going to be, I guess, a, a double edged thing here of taking things and then being through the body physically <laughs> to see what's wrong with it. So uh, at you which will have... point, Morty's also going to land on his head and just sit there and stare at the, the other two of you. So it's just a three-eyed raven with bobbling on his head, trying to look way too serious, but doesn't because he keeps moving, which means the raven's going like... <laughs> like trying to keep a look on you. So with Mantis that... will probably be twitching a little every now and then, like <laughs> watching Morty. Little arms just kind of like up for a fight looking just... weird not really looking for a fight but just kind of like slowly kind of snapping back and forth like that doesn't look like a bird <laughs> not like a bird that i've ever seen so yeah. with that manner of looting the body you do not need to roll an investigation check or a perception check or anything to find out what it's got in its pockets is uh, if you would, though, make me a medicine check as you are pouring over and being a medical examiner or a coroner for what's going on. In the meantime, I will tell you, uh, an immediate look over this thing's body tells you that it has a longbow and a quiver with nine usable arrows in it. It fell kind of awkwardly when it went down and snapped several that are, that were in there. Um, so they're arrowheads and things that could be mended or fixed, but there's nine that are currently usable. Uh, in its pockets... Oh, I'm sorry. It also has a spear and a plank shield that looks like it has been rent in two and then literally roped back together, but still serviceable uh, that it was wearing on its back. Mm -hmm. um, it's wearing hide armor that has really seen better days after you guys got done with it, but it's better than nothing. Um, but definitely smelly. Uh, it has a couple of mismatching earrings that are poked through one of its ears and has a total of 17 silver in its pockets in a mix of silver and copper coinage. Uh, it also has what looks to be a silver candlestick shoved into the back of its belt. It is tarnished. It is old. It is... Not of a, shall we say, not of a modern style. 
um, making you wonder a little bit where it might have come from. But uh, those are the things you find on its person. And how'd that medicine check go? It was a 14, because I only have a plus one. Okay. Uh, with the 14, you very obviously see the damage that you did to it. You cooked the thing. You practically roasted it. <laughs> um, fortunately, not harming its equipment altogether too much. But um, before the burns, and it's very easy to tell other kinds of wounds from burn wounds, this thing had been stabbed twice by your, your in your medical opinion, a worked blade. Uh, puncture wounds are about four. Um, the worst one is four inches deep. The other one is quite shallow. Uh, in a more vital area. And it looks as though the blade was probably about three inches wide. Um, for starting the medicine check and all that stuff, he's going to take the things that he pulled off of it and essentially he'll really just keep, like, earrings and, like, handful of the coins and just shove them in because he, like, keeps weird little trinkets, so he'll just, like, shove them in a bag. And the rest he's gonna, like, toss out and be like, if any of you have use of any of that, just have at it. The Yama smells bad. Don't touch that. That's We probably shouldn't wear that. And he's gonna then keep okay. gate through. <laughs> figure out all these other things. Um, yeah, he will inform the party about the, the two stab wounds, and also that he noticed in the fight that they looked Priorly wounded. He'll he'll inform the party of all the things. Mim's gonna grab the candlestick just because she thinks it's cool, and she's gonna take some of her rope and strap it to her belt. It's about, Correct. It is very cool. It's about ten to eleven inches long, and upon closer inspection, it's not pure silver. It's silver plated, but still, that's money. I need. If I need to sell it, I can sell it, and if not, I can book somebody on the head with it. That's right. If I'm ever in a conservatory, <laughs> Mr. Body's got it coming. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, resourceful. I am just starting to understand this, um, so I do not think I want to mess with a bow, but if, if anyone knows how to use one... Not really my thing. Valid. I mean, you could always take the arrows by themselves and, like, physically by the hand, shove them in and then break them off in the person. It's really hard to get out if you don't have the whole length of Trust it. Me. So that Trust me, I know. It. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I oh, yeah, you need help getting that. those out of... Yeah, Nim's, you. Nim's, got, Nim's got it. Nim's got it. Nim's got it. Yeah. Okay. He's Love currently, it. like, grabbing some, like, leaves from a pouch and, like spitting and grinding them up and rubbing it on like a balm on the wounds. This mm. will help make it feel better, I think. Right. <laughs> Alright. Naya, oh. I... Mm -hmm. I think just to rip the bandage off. Are you two being hunted for any reason? Oh. Not that I know of. Alright. Of. Are you hunting anyone that is not a flower? Not that I know of. Bad hunter. Okay. Is there anyone you know who might be after you? No, I mean, Go takes care of everybody who's mean to me. So. Damn. Anybody who's mean to Nim is going to have to handle with me. Oh. So. Who's the bird? This is Morty. He just showed up one day. He looks like a bird that I had many years ago as a kid that the bird died, unfortunately. But Morty's like Morty 2.0. Where, where you come from, do all birds have three eyes? No, 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 no. He's, he's a magic bird. Uh, he's grumpy too. Yeah, I he's thought he really... was grumpy. He looked grumpy. He's got a little bit of sass too, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I saw him uh, do this. Hmm. 
Right, well, uh... Where exactly were you all headed to get these uh, flowers? We don't want them. No, we don't want them, but... I mean... We're headed in the same direction. Jeez, if no one's after you and it's not a direct danger to us, don't see why we can't walk in the same direction. I point up I on the, the distant hill where you can... I think we can kind of see the barrows. Is that right, Rob? Yes. If When you were on the top of the hill, several hillsides away, you can barely make out the silhouette of the knotted tree and the stone table at the top of the barrow. I point up in that dire direction. Um, hmm. It's up on the hill and it only really goes there. Eleanor said that it's in, like, some graveyard that all the kids like to go to to, like, test the bravery or something. I... Yes, we're uh, going to have yeah. a picnic up there. I mean, having a spin in a night in a graveyard is so easy. I don't know why people would think that's... You know, I'm not scared. To be fair, it's when you're, like, what, eight, nine years old to freak people out. Oh, uh, well, I guess... It's not scary anymore. Yeah, I guess Everyone's most dead. normal kids... Most normal kids are afraid of dead things, but I've always liked them, so... Yeah, I wasn't really getting that from the all of you. <laughs> Do either of you normal. know someone who likes to wear red? Um, Asking the hard cool. questions, Nye. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dorian, like, pulls Nim into, like, a two-person huddle and is like, Do we know anybody who wears red? Don't pay attention to, to clothes. One of the girls I grew up with liked red. Oh my god, Nim, do you think this is she coming? But do you think she's gonna show back up? Because they're asking all the hard questions. They're asking about people who wear red. No, no, I didn't think she'd leave the woods. She's she was always more nervous than even me. Okay, it's probably not her then. Turns head around, bird still on head, which were means you guys, bird like, kind of goes like quietly, or were you like <laughs> just like the like talk whispering, like stage whispering? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't think like, we were super quiet. <laughs> no. No. Turns back around with the bird stall on the head. Just, we don't know anybody who wears... I mean, I'm sure people wear red, but no. I don't know anybody who always wears it. And nobody here. And you know, Dorian and Eleanor and Eleanor's husband. Okay. Um, but I will remind... Um, more for the chat's sake, I think, based on the way this conversation is going, everyone seems to remember things we've talked about before so well. I'm so <laughs> delighted. This is rare for one of Rob's games. Um, both Sebast and Naya know the name Eleanor. That is the semi-retired Sawbones in Heart's End. Mm -hmm. Eleanor and her husband are very, very kind um so we know why you're here we were kind of looking for this like assassin guy and he wears red and we are supposed to maybe kill him maybe not um it was not necessary but it was encouraged i've never killed a person before i don't think so hey. this is new for me and i am remaining calm might want to not be so calm because these creatures here have been stabbed by a blade. Last I checked, assassins liked blades. It's really oh. true. Well, you know, um, on the bright side, maybe that means we're going the right way. Kill positive energy. Uh -huh. I can't argue with that logic. I really can't argue with it. Um, well, we... maybe if you two help us get our flowers, we could help you find where the assassin is, too. That would be really nice. I mean, yeah, getting flowers definitely is uh, preferable to doing yes. the other thing right away. If you help us go that. pick some shrubbery, we'll help you kill a murderer. <laughs> this seems like a good deal. Yeah. I'll <laughs> just go kill a man. It is, it'll be a nice time. It's a bonding experience. You have yeah. to know that these these flowers. Yeah, the Gen Z agenda. We figured <laughs> yeah. it out. Hell yeah! You have to know that these flowers, um, they they could be very deadly. So they're not like regular flowers. So maybe like 
it, it might be similar threat levels, so just be prepared. Do you need to, like, pick them a certain way? Yes, Eleanor, Eleanor told us um, exactly how to do it. And you want to do it in the morning? Because the dew collects and all of that. Brought empty bottles just Easy in enough. case. And he's like splattering out a bunch of little <laughs> empty vials. Which it's worth noting, you all left early in the morning before the, the sun was up here in Blackreach. Dew does stay on the grass and in the flowers longer here than other places, but the almost getting killed, the meeting two people, and the looting and investigating a body is taking time. Well, if you, if you well, that's your voice, shit. I keep doing everyone's voices that are not mine. <laughs> Stop copying me. <laughs> I can help it. Oh, wait, no, that one is mine. Okay. <laughs> so, nice. I'm so we got there, you guys. guys. Yo, you're doing better than me tonight. This. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess we could go and pick some flowers. And I mean, if you you said you just need like the dew, because if they're poison flowers, we could throw them at the assassin, and maybe he has allergies. How about we or say that it's like the last resort because we kind of need these flowers for Nim. Oh, I thought yeah. I misunderstood. I thought you just yeah. I thought she only dew. needed like the water, but she need the whole thing. Don't really know exactly how much, nor do I know how long they're going to last. So I was just going to take everything. Yeah, you, you make a good point. Safe and sorry. Yeah. So, flowers. Want to go gardening? Just like back home. This is the most friends I've ever had. <laughs> and Nim starts walking towards the direction we need to go in. <laughs> <laughs> Dorian's oh. just trotting after her with this bird that's just like as don't he's worry, walking. Dorian. You're still my bestest friend. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. It's a hand up on top of like, feels around for a second until he finds like Morty's like head and just kind of like palms it just like like block his little ears just like don't worry Nim you're still my best friend too. Sebastian will lean over to Naya and be like I, I think we were going to say the same thing. <laughs> You say it. <laughs> to be fair, like, I don't know if knowing someone for an hour constitutes friends, but I think this might be the most I've ever had, too. I'm busy. <laughs> I mean, it's never really bothered me either way, but at least we were wrong about them both being assassins. That's true. That's... Best case scenario, really. Yeah. Especially I mean, I... in the middle of the desert. And we get to go pick flowers! Well, I don't think I've ever gotten to do that. We are gonna be back... a day later. Oh, do you think they know? Like, about nighttime? <laughs> we... best let them know. I mean, at least we'll... be with them. Yeah, I mean, I'm also... thinking about my dad's... Yes, you know, strength in numbers, but also like, my I'm gonna miss my shift. That's and you know my brother. I don't know if you know my brother. My brother doesn't do shit around the restaurant. I mean, I know of him vaguely, maybe. This I don't know. He blue. Live. All right, then, yeah, probably. Much like that Pevensey kid, Edmund just lazy fuck turkish delights all the time just <laughs> honestly kind of why i named him that i'm down Listen, i love it have you had turkish delight though because oh, i oh, they oh it's <laughs> great they're so good they're delightful when i, first discovered a I get it when i, really I was like it. eight or like something like that i insisted my mom constantly buy turkish delights because they fucking slap and because i wanted to be fancy mm. I don't know where the fuck she found it. Hey, this Rifle Stud That's is so here. Good. Subscribing at uh, tier one for seven months. Buddy, you missed me crying. Yeah. You missed the whole show. Rob um, cried at the beginning. <laughs> the, the one where Rob cries. Big time. Um, also worth a note, thank you, Vamp Wolf 666 for the follow. 
welcome to the party. Oh yeah, Vamp Wolf um, says uh, that they love our vibes. So thanks. Oh hell that. yeah. Yeah. That's that's <laughs> all y'all. Um <laughs> the vibes. So you guys begin to make your way towards the barrows of insurgents. Um some of you with the most friends you've ever had. Most of us. <laughs> um, leaving behind the, the singed and stinking corpse of a knoll on the hillside, and occasionally seeing a pair of them limping off into the distance to the north, you drive her closer towards your destination. As you get closer, everyone make me a perception check, please. Oh, this thing gonna go well. Don't forget, the chat has bought you all guidance and inspiration, and they okay. can't do so again until they're used, so don't be afraid to re-roll. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna see if Pike can do better than a one like the last time that she rolled for me. God, I, I... wish I could roll survival <laughs> right now. Uh, that was a two, Pike. You beat it, but I'm gonna use my inspiration. <laughs> oh, Pike. <laughs> Pike, you are technically correct. The best kind of correct. <laughs> That's better. 17. I'm seeing everything. Oh, you are. Do you say perception or investigation? Perception, please. Perception is a plus three, so that will be a 16. 17, 16. 24. Ooh. Here comes the lyrics. Eight. An eight. Sebast... Um, you're no walking matter what this... dice I roll with, I am just doomed <laughs> to be in the single digits land. Look, you are walking you around. So high. I yeah, rolled you did. a 19 plus 5. Oh, was that on one of Crash's dice? dice? Yep. Yes. I was telling people all weekend in Denver that these are my lucky dice, and it's all uh -huh. of... God, I wish that were me. Oh, <laughs> 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 just rolled high enough to probably be the only one to notice that Dorian is acting friendly to everybody, but is sticking very close to you in, like, a I don't trust you sort of way. Nim totally just, like, is holding Dorian's hand as as they walk shoulder to shoulder, but she's <laughs> higher up. Did anyone like use their time? bonuses, yeah. by the way, so I can mark them all? I used an no. inspiration because of this little turd. There it goes. <laughs> Uh, you shouldn't so, have named you after Ashley Johnson. This is why you roll so bad. <laughs> I mean, where the lie, though? Roasted. <laughs> oh, Rob, and put there, that inspiration right back up it. there. Yep. <laughs> nice. Tonight of all nights, I can't keep my eyes off the activity <laughs> feed. I've got it. <laughs> um, so. Inspirations. Yes. So, as you were all walking forward, Sebastian is still a little bewildered and bemused by just this this circus party that somehow she has stumbled into today of all days. Last night, you were in the house of one of the gentry for the first time, and now you're in the company of a blue girl and some furbolg-ish thing that you've never seen before, and a guy who you were pretty sure was dead about ten minutes ago. It's a weird day. <laughs> Um, yeah. And with yeah. all of that, you are understandably distracted from your surroundings. Everyone else, however... It's a day. <laughs> yes, and it's only getting started. Mm -hmm. Everyone else as you are approaching, you do note those two forms getting further in the distance going towards the north. You notice a, a sickly sweet smell. Something like an inviting but alluring smell of decay. And honestly, Nimwin, it makes you a little hungry. I grabbed some candy out of our pack. Also, as you approach, you see that almost crowning, like a circlet around the top of this barrow, are these three to four foot high little shrubs with white blooms. They very few blooms per shrub, but no real shortage of the shrubbery. It You're still a little ways off, but it definitely bears resemblance to the diagrams in Eleanor's books. Nimwin, you are the only one, however, to catch 
as you are staring up towards the hilltop. A humanoid shape. Moving somewhat stooped, almost like hunched in the back. Not as though it's trying to hide itself, but that that is its shape. Um, it is moving towards I... the top of the hill, where that gnarled tree is. And you see it pass through the hanging branches. This is no place for a willow tree, but whatever tree this is, you've grown all your life in the Evanwood. This is something a little unfamiliar. It does have those long hanging leaves and branches like that, almost like a curtain around the very crown of this hill. And it passes inside of those, and you think, in the gray light coming through the cloud cover, that it was wearing a red shirt. I stop in my tracks, and because I'm holding Dorian's hand, Dorian stops with me, and just very quietly uh, towards the group, I say, I saw red. I saw someone in red up there. They went in behind the trees. I'm not scared. They look like they had any weapons on them or anything. Did they, they see were, you? They were like this, and and they kind of were hunched over. I didn't know if they saw me, but they went inside the tree with the long branches. Thanks. I thought we would have more time before we ran into this person. Okay. Also, I think I should let you know, um, just so you know, it gets really dangerous out there at night. I don't remember if we told you that. So, um, I mean, maybe it's good that we're doing these two things together. Saves time. We've heard. Right. Um, if do you know anything about this assassin that you're trying to catch? Because if we take a little bit of time, can prepare to detect magic if that would be useful for them. Don't know if that's anything this assassin might do. Look, you, you do that. It'll take a few um, minutes. I can't. I can't just do it. Which in well, players' yeah. terms, I got a ritually cast. Yeah. We, we've but, got a, a little bit of a ways to like walk in order to get there. Anyway, I mean, well, I kind of gotta be still. Someone oh. has to carry me while I do it. Well, I'm not a tank this time, so I can't. Get on my back. <laughs> Dang it, Ellie. No. <laughs> Get on my back. No, guys, I was I was going to scout from up in the air. Mm. I would... <gasps> I could do both. I do that. We could do both in case you set up any traps. For undetectable, I could possibly find them, and you can look for him. I'm just going to be circle in the sky. Promise. You can fly? In a way. That's, I, can, and, I can only go straight up, but that was one, one fun thing I found I can do. Um, I would like to use Wild Shape. And I'm going to take the form of... A Vulture. Vulture. Which circle are you? Desert. Desert, okay. I'm going to start ritually. Is that Circle of the Land, and then you chose Desert? Yes. Okay. I have two oh. wild shapes. You do. And as a druid of third level, you cannot turn into a creature with a flying or swimming speed. Since when? Since the wild shape class feature. You can fly at 8th level. About... Man. I can, this. I can float up and, and look ahead, but I can only go straight up. Or how about... This. How about I can send Multi ahead? No, I... I can oh, see you think she's him. magic? I thought you could do the... the um See her eyeballs. Oh, no. This, or your this, eyeballs. This is a bug. I can do that with the with the well, bird. She and I have the kind of a flower, so I didn't know. Three. Oh, he's do the eyeball thing. It's Someone quite just, again. Thing. Someone just has to either lead me or again carry me, because when you go and see through your familiar, you can't. 
around you here see anything. I can only hear and see through him. If you if you send your familiar, can you still check for magics? No, I can really only do one at a time. Can any does anybody else have the ability to Look, detect? Dorian, I I, I know we just sure met, but I think this is a pretty time sensitive issue. I think it'd be best if you just go get a visual and then come back. Otherwise, we're wasting time. We don't know what he's doing up there. We can keep slowly walking while I do it. Someone just has to lead me. Lead you. Okay, we can okay. do that. Yeah, we can help you. Really as everyone, as everyone okay. says, we can help you. He loops an arm around Nim specifically. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna plop Morty like off of his head. Be like, All right, but we gotta do it again real quick. Don't sass me this time when you come back. I was rude last time. He's gonna like throw him in the air. <laughs> or he's gonna fly off. And you, this time you can actually see like the eyes like flicker completely white for a second before coming back up in that golden raven color of Morty's. And he can't hear or see anything now. It's just wherever you take him, it's where he goes and the bird's off flying. And we walk so. towards the nearest cliff. <laughs> I think as, you're gonna be like... him... Go ahead. Okay. No, you go ahead. <laughs> You're taller, go. <laughs> as as Nim is guiding Dorian, you guys just see her kind of like rubbing his hand in her hand. And even <laughs> though she knows that Dorian can't hear anything, she's very quietly like, You're doing such a good job. Don't worry, there's some rocks up ahead, but I'll make sure you don't trip. And just kind of like an internal monologue as as we go. I think as he was like, you know, you were very rude to me when you came back. I probably like lean over to Nim as he's like zonking out and being like, "Does the bird talk?" Never spoken to Morty, but uh, he he speaks with his eyes and his body language very well. You can tell when he's cross. Is I think he's just like that. I think. He, that I haven't known him very long. I've just watched him a little bit, but th that has not seemed to change. He really this can be Dorian, temperamental. Yes. Um, he gets very grumpy when Dorian says I'm his best friend. Uh, and things like that. You know that, that meme of I'd sell you for a corn chip? That's just so you're saving yep. one <laughs> corn chip. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. So, Morty is flying on ahead. Mm -hmm. And you are seeing through its eyes. You make mm -hmm. your way. Um, how high up are you flying? God, I need to check. I think, I'm pretty sure his fly speed is your standard. Oh, I'm, I, I'm not worried about the speed. Just, like, are you oh. close to the ground? Are you not close to the ground? I'd say mid-range. You know, like, not... Not so high that he can't see fine details, but not right on the ground. Okay. You no, know, like maybe maybe like fifteen to twenty feet up, maybe a little more than that. Okay. Oh. So you approach the top of this hill, and through Morty's triplicate of vision, yes, these at the top of the hill, these little shrubs are indeed Larapo's cup, where the poison that you are after can be harvested. The tree itself is providing a good bit of cover, obscuring anything that is going on nearer to its trunk. As you're approaching it, though, the... the little invisible ears of this bird hear a scraping sound like rough metals sliding over another object and you hear a rasping gargling sound a, a very unhealthy human sound He can't obviously like hear any of his things around him, but he's gonna start like mumbling quietly under his breath. It's like noises. He's gonna start like mimicking some of the noises 
Oh, please. Just out of, like... <sighs> sounds like, like, a, sounds like a cat like... about to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> Naya's gonna, like, lean over to Sebastian and be like, I don't have, like, a bag if he throws up. Does this make him sick? I'm gonna stop in the middle of that and just know. not even be able to hear really you. This. He's just gonna be saying, like, there's metal scraping, there's metal... I sound sick. With the bird, he's gonna kind of urge Morty not to get closer, but to inspect the best he can, even if it means having to get, like, five feet closer. But... Okay. Um... So... Do you wish to kind of pierce the veil of what's going on at the tree there? Are you doing so from the air or on the ground? Uh, they're away from the ground to be covered. Like, is there a bush he can hide in or is it pretty much open? At the top of the hill? Like, is, it, is it close? To, is there anything? Like, I know there's the flower plants, but I don't know if any of them are close enough. <laughs> close to the top of the hill is the stone table. Um, it is not within the, the low-hanging canopy of this tree, but it would allow for a concealed approach to it. And I'll, I'll go that route. Like, he'll do, like, one circle that is more like a non-suspecting sort of thing of, like, I'm just a bird, I'm flying around kind of thing before landing and trying to scooch closer. Which means we got a sassy little three-eyed bird that's just so, like strutting up there. <laughs> would you make a um a three-eyed bird though? Um let's call this either and you can use Dorian stats for this, either a performance check to seem very natural and innocent, or a stealth check to try and escape notice. Your preference, whatever seems more appropriate to your intentions. Would think probably stealth, given the nature of this bird. I would say stealth. Ooh, okay. Twenty-two, because I got a plus four. Ooh, way to go! Very nice. Twenty-two, because I have I have a good dex. Just Very exactly true. what a warlock needs is a good dex. <laughs> yeah. Truly. Um, so you, as subtly and nonchalantly as a three-eyed three raven is capable of doing so, land on one of three benches around this triangular stone table. Hop down beneath the tabletop, and in a few more hops, skirt beneath the willow-like branches hanging down and obscuring what is inside. It is quite dark inside. Even the little bit of light outside barely pierces through this dense canopy. But you barely make out some details through the half-light that's coming through. First, you notice that this tree is covered in carvings, difficult to discern. But it seems that perhaps it is local children coming to say that Izzy was here, or someone came to write J plus K in a little heart hmm. is carved into the side of this thing, or maybe it's Thieves Cant, maybe it's Eldritch Symbols. Whatever it is, this tree is covered in markings, maybe all of the above. There's also a stone dome about eight feet across at the base of the tree, at the very crest of the hill. And in that dome is an opening, a stone spiral staircase going straight down into something inside the rest of the hill, the barrow, you imagine, by reputation. Punched on the first couple stairs is a figure wearing a mostly red shirt. Now that you're closer, you see there's almost an ovular white space on the chest. 
The red is deep, dark, red. And the way that it transitions circle, it doesn't look like it's a pattern of any kind. More like the red is a stain on an otherwise colorless shirt. The pants that it is wearing are torn and ripped about the knee. You note that it has four broken arrows sticking out of it at odd angles, much like you yourself, Dorian, had not that long ago. On its waist, it is holding a short sword. Its hair is missing in patches, but long, longer than its chin, coming down past its shoulders. There are burn marks and missing patches of flesh where hair ought to have been. But none of those things are the first thing you notice. The first thing you notice are its eyes. They're not eyes like you normally think of eyes. Little fleshy balls rolling about in some mucus inside of the head, offering sight to whatever creature possesses them. No, they're little pricks of light. Red light, angry red light. Staring out in the blackness underneath this tree, the only points of light that you can find yourself focusing on. But at the moment, they're not focusing on you. This figure, wounded as it is, seems to have a broken jaw that is hanging slack, allowing the entirety of its tongue to fall down towards its chest, and it seems to be speaking or repeating something to itself ineffectually, as lips can no longer connect in the way that they ought. I have a little bit of a piece of art to show you guys for this thing. Get rid. I need to find... There it is. Beep. There he is. Ooh, I'm waiting for him to pop up. Yeah, also waiting for it to pop up. It is busying itself. At ready. With a broken dagger. Oh. And it is scraping one of the flowers on the shrub pieces of shrubbery outside. It is scraping it across the stone at the top of this barrow, squeezing out little bits of some kind of juice. And you watch it dip its middle finger from its free hand into the juice and run it down that long tongue. And then actually push the tongue in towards the roof of its mouth so it can taste. I wish it wouldn't. <laughs> in your first three seconds of being inside this space, you have escaped its notice and this is what you see. What does Morty and Dorian do? Um... Dorian is going to instruct Morty to hobble his way back out. If he has to, just take off flying. You know, if he, that feels more appropriate. Um, he's still been mumbling what he can see. Sometimes probably too quiet, really, so much to even hear. But he's been kind of mumbling the things that are apparent. Um, mumbling like, that, like, it's got a broken jaw. It's drinking the flowers. The flowers are poisonous. I don't. Very hurt, and it doesn't doesn't look human. Not in the way that all of us don't look human, but like actually not human. Morty, I think it's time. Come. I think it's time to come back. And he's like kind of gripping Nim a little bit harder at this point. But yeah, he's gonna have Morty. Sneak if he can. If not, if that sneak doesn't work, he's just gonna take right off. <laughs> so, 
I'd say let's let's do a new check since you have been presented with something that might affect your ability to carry forward with your previous check. You yeah. still have your inspiration and guidance if you need it. Yeah. You are not allowed to bless this dice because you will bless it with a curse. You hear me? <laughs> While we roll, thank you, Omnom and Gazebo Baklava, for the follows. Appreciate Ooh. you guys being here. It's not as good, but it's an 18 this time because of my plus four. No, I want Baklava. It sounds really good. You know right what? Now. I always forget. I always forget to add a guidance. I'm going to put my guidance on there because I always forget to add it. That makes it a not natural 20. A not yeah. natural 20. Dang. You, within a couple of quick hops, Morty is outside of the canopy and not being able to see the creature any longer, you hope it is not able to see you. And mm. as quietly as you can, beat your wings and still take off quickly. Not looking back, Morty takes flight towards the rest of you. He's Moments later, you return. The, he's gonna drop. He's gonna wait to drop the vision until Morty's back landed on his head. Like he knows that he knows that he's there. When he comes back, I have like a <gasps> kind of thing as the eyes flicker back, that blue greeny color. He's. I don't know how much you were told about your assassin. Just the red. That's. That's about it. Yeah. A, I think there's a bigger threat waiting for us up there than a single letterer in red. Wilden. His eyes were glowing. It looked like it had already been dead at one point. It looked worse than I did a few minutes ago. Oh. His jaw was kind of hard to tell in a tiny bird. Mm. Body, but it's it's normal size. It's not huge or anything. It's <laughs> what I don't understand them. From what Eleanor told us, the flowers are poisonous. You're going to get them to make something that wouldn't have you sleep. It's up there with a broken jaw. Points like there's there's arrows in it. There's a broken dagger. And it's ingesting poison. I mean, some poisons can be ingested and used as medicine, used properly. Certain venoms and draughts alike. Maybe and he's just different? Yeah, not all things that are, like, poisonous is, like, poisonous to everybody. Like, I love it's chocolate, going... but you cannot give it to dogs. It's going off of what we've been needing to feed Nim. It's, um, but it's not necessarily a healing. We can explain all of that later. That's not the thing to worry about right now. I think we need a plan going in there. We can talk and walk. I don't care, but we... We just survived the nose. Dumb luck. Don't think we can do that, Kim, after what I've seen. I mean, you two survived on dumb luck. We just sort of showed up. I I did a spell. You did? did you see, cool, I did see your actually. spell. Yeah. I saw it. So you weren't lying about the magic. Stuff. Yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> uh, I mean... Hear him mutter on his breath, just like I shouldn't have used that invisibility earlier for the mantis. <laughs> like, <laughs> you wasted it on a normal ass bug. <laughs> it was annoying. Incredible. Well, like I'm, I am not like a strategist. I am a bartender, but like. Did it seem, like, super aware of, like, what's going on? Like, if you think it's been dead before, then it might not, like, be all there, so we might be able to sneak up on it. Don't 
know if it's been dead before, if it's on its way there, if it's just like that. Um, That's fair. Did not notice Morty, but Morty's really good being sneaky. Um, he's very light. He's very light on those little raptor claws that he has. Um, Do you see will... flowers not underneath the tree? Maybe we could just be really quiet and go up to the, where the other flowers are and not bother him. Well, we are going to have to bother him. Because that's kind of our job. Yeah. Um, you guys, I understand if you don't want to mess with it, because that sounds really, really scary. And I'm not excited about it, but I, I'm not <laughs> roping you into this if you don't want to do it. I mean, if if we have to help, um, I know we don't have to help, but if we're up there anyways, I feel like I don't want to just leave you two. I mean, my dad taught me one trap, snare, we can set one up, I can get close now, we can have Morty maybe try to bring him over, and then if we catch him, you all turn a blind eye, we do our thing, you grab your flowers and get. And like, I don't yeah. think it's, if it's all hunched and I don't think it's going to be as fast as Morty. Yeah. I think you'd be surprised at how quickly scary things can move. That's, I remember last campaign. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You remember <laughs> some like, flashbacks from Mora, right? <laughs> <laughs> yep, that was a fun one. Dorian's we both like, died. Dorian's gonna chime in and just be like, "Don't feel comfortable sending Morty because I mean, yes, I can resummon him, but I mean, I could, I could monster out again and could chase me." No, um, we don't want him to attack you I, we just I, maybe I mean uh, if, we somehow lure him out with like some of the flowers I have an idea yeah. uh, my zaps they go really far like really far I can go far far away so I could do like a zap like at a bush or something like something on the ground and he'll hear it and be like oh shit there's a lightning storm because I think that's what it is. Um, and then like come out, and then we'll be like, "Haha, we got you, motherfucker!" And then then oh. we'll win because <laughs> I can. I think I can do. I can only do that like once each time. I confirmed that, but I think I can do it multiple times if I take like a little little break. Think it's. Really, not a bad idea. <laughs> I mean, if as long as I have time to set the trap and you can lure him in one direction, I, I bet we can catch him. And if he's I've made snares before, so I could help you make sure it's really nice and. Uh... You have. Yes. If Great. It's that zappy Perfect. Thing, if it's that zappy thing that you did earlier, I I can do the same thing if we need it. But I and think I'm gonna. The coming, last thing I'm gonna and... warn. It's just because it looks like it's dying doesn't actually mean it might it might not be dying. It might just be built that way. Well, like, I, and I mean no offense by this, you looked like you were dying, like, not too long ago, but apparently you were really tough. See, that's the point, Jeez. see? But the point wasn't that I'm tough, the point was that things that look gnarly sometimes are just Driving. Um, but you also are tough. Thank you, Nim. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Should we, um... Sounds like we've got a plan, so... Yeah. If I can get up there, create a trap with Nimwin's help, you all stay scout, then we'll come back, and mm -hmm. I guess be ready to hit and if we it can, trips. We can try to get, like, close enough that if it catches you like it sees you doing it we can we can try to zap it from like a distance and then yeah. we can get close to you maybe we should 
keep like a 30 foot range you and I give or take yeah. that we can still help but not be too far that's true because then yeah. we can get close real fast yeah. Nimwin uh, she be okay with being a little bit closer than they are oh I, I mean, I know I didn't look especially tough like Dorian, but I can take a few hits. I mean, no I'm be like, don't let to her have fool help. you. Let her fool you. She hits like a bull. She hit me one time, I know. I thought you was a deer. I'll take that. Bomb and, girl uh, strong. As, as we head up the hill, I'm going to grab your hand. And just to help with stealthing up the hill, I'm going to use one of my Furbolg traits of Hidden mm. Step to turn invisible as we walk up. That's really freaking cool. good. She just kind of, she grabs your hand and she leans over and she goes, I'll still be here. I'm just going to be invisible. So just keep holding my hand and I'll Ooh. stick close. And she just poof. My invisible. You can... No, and uh, she will remain that way right. until the start of her next turn, and she can do that up to twice. All right. Good. Yeah. Wait, can, and am I invisible? No. Am I... Yeah, no, it's I'm, just me. Rob, I'm asking for roleplay purposes. I'm <laughs> sorry. I thought I was being helpful. This is a whole new thing for us. <laughs> <laughs> it is just only me. But I thought that since you're probably uh, are better at sneaking alone, I, I, this would help. I appreciate that. Me trick. Thank you. Very cool. Uh, then yes, I would like to begin sneaking my way up this hill. Okay. And it's the two of you going in as the as the vanguard, and then did we say 30 mm -hmm. feet behind the other two? Yes. Alright. I'd like everyone to go ahead and do a stealth check, please. Um, advantage for something? Nimwin. Okay, I was gonna ask. Yeah. <laughs> right, yes, you yeah. can only be heard. Or someone could be incredibly perceptive and notice like, <laughs> the well, grass moving. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to use Goodness. that inspiration real fast. Inspiration. I haven't rolled a double pass. digit this entire time. I oh. want something. Feels, feels bad, man. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm going to use my inspiration spell. too. Um, it wasn't terrible, another spell, but... right? I think I might also use inspiration. <laughs> to, uh... that? That's... That was the substantially heck, worse. <laughs> Better so, than it was. Tell you what, I I will do for you. If everyone wants to re-roll, <gasps> instead of using no, your inspirations, don't. I will use the PC's accomplice, and you can yeah. all re-roll. Can I Let's choose go. which? Can I choose which roll? Because I like my roll. <laughs> can you choose which roll? Like I as if we're know. rolling with advantage. If we're basically having to re-roll as a group to get that option, because apparently I'm the only one who rolled well, I rolled a 19. Mm. Uh, can I keep my 19? <laughs> you can keep your 19. Okay. All right, with let's my re-roll, I got a nat 20, so I'm very nice. happy with that. I uh, got the same thing I got before! Plus one. It was lower! Oh no! My first roll was we my can't best can't get one, out of this. So I got a 15. Then I'm keeping my other one. With my <laughs> stuff. Okay. Keith, well. honey, can you give some blessing out here to people that are not me? Because hey. your blessings are bad for here, me. And I'll, for other I'm going to blow my guidance, too. Because I might as well. Oh, oh she's found the camera. Throw a guidance I love her. Well, 15 might not be bad. Okay, okay. Let's all right. Doing that little thing. So, please. what are yeah. our totals? Let's go, Dory. Nineteen plus. It was nineteen total. It was a fifteen plus four. Okay, Nimwin. Uh, not twenty plus one. Very nice, Sebast. Sixteen. Sixteen. That's good. After everything. <laughs> and Naya. Um, I got a uh, twelve plus three, so fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Not bad, guys. So, as stealthily as you possibly can, you all reach 
the point that you were trying to reach. You arrive at the destination of where you wanted to set the trap, which was... Where? Uh... Is there any part of the clearing that just sort of looks like it would be a clear enough path? That's an interesting question. I will give you for free that it seems as though quite recently there has been a lot of traffic of a very, very small single-digit number of creatures at best moving between the tree and from what you hear from Dorian's account, the entrance of the barrow, and the stone table. Okay. Then, still holding Nimwin's hand, I'm gonna slowly sneak into roughly the middle of that path, but still staying within like the precipice of the bushes. And I would like to... Uh, take a minute to start casting Snare. Okay. And can I offer the help action with that? You may. Um, your oh, invisibility yeah. is about to run out, but you still rolled yeah. a very high stealth check. Hmm. Let me check on Snare real quick. All right. So you have your rope with you, because every good adventurer does, and you knew what mm -hmm. you were getting into. Um, it is going to involve some verbal components that you are going to whisper as quietly as you can and still have them no, take it doesn't. effect. Snare? It's somatic and material. Somebody Let me double see check. I thought it said looking DSM. looking at the spell now. I believe you. I thought I was, too. Well, let me look at it on Beyond. I just Google searched it. Yeah, you're right. D and D wiki dot is wrong. All right, no problem. Then. Thank you, trash. Yeah. Um. So you quietly. One thing works in my favor. Hey. One. <laughs> I will take what I can get. You start sneaking around and laying the rope out and tying your knot. Um. You don't necessarily require any help with the spell, but. Nimwin is doing her best to accelerate the process for you. Um, okay. I'm going to say that you are going to... I I don't know how often I will do this again, but you set it up in half the time. Heck yeah! Thank you, Nimwin. Um, and 30 seconds later, you guys have set this trap. And as far as you know, there's there's no motion from within the tree. You don't hear that gurgling sound that Dorian had described, or that scraping sound, but you don't see anything, you don't hear anything. In fact, it's very quiet on this hilltop. Weird. Okay. And I'll kind of look back to Nimwin and whisper, All right, now we need to get to the others and tell them this is the direction that they need to be firing from. All right, so I will begin to sneak back and try to get about halfway towards where I might be able to see uh, Naya and Dorian. Okay. And I'll follow. You know vaguely where they ought to be. They are... They're pretty sneaky. You don't... You don't... You have to kind of trust where they are. Yeah. Um... Because they've hidden themselves pretty well compared to your passives. So, <laughs> you situate yourselves where you think again. you're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. I'm once again the only person who took message, but as you're both sneaking back, yep. Nimwin gets a little message in her head that's just like, everything going okay? Both okay. still alive, I, I hope? Yes, but on the way back, but we didn't hear any gurgling. <laughs> Nia's the only one who can see like as his eyes widen and he turns looks at her just I hear the gurgling and did it go where did it go where did it go they're not it is making a lot of noise where did 
like starts like having a pan attack, panic attack. Like, oh my oh, god, it's gone. She's so, like, like, oh boy, scared of her own hands, but like trying to like comfort him, but like nervous about touching, him. doing like the like that kind of thing. <laughs> Those people who have purchased guidance, I have it marked on the screen now. Crash and uh, Ellie, you have been reimbursed. <gasps> Thank you! I feel so guided. <laughs> Dorian, as you are hidden in the tall grass, laying flat on your stomach and trying to keep Morty's head down, a thought comes to you. And it's not your thought. Good. And, and and you recognize these thoughts when they come. You you identify these thoughts as echo, giving a name to something you don't fully understand. And that thought is, this place is mine. It's not welcome here. It must leave. One way or another. Like a split second goes from like doing like the <sighs> like the deep breathing thing to like suddenly completely <laughs> still faced and calm. It's just I sends another I... message. Am I you in position? Yes, we're, we're on the way towards you. We're, we're, we're away from the trap. There's another quick message. Fire and hide yourselves. Naya. Now? Aim. Okay. Now. Her hair goes. Yep. As, <laughs> as lightning begins to gather, as Sebast prepares to duck, Nimwin, you, you are having to pass by one of these bits of shrubbery, this crown on the hilltop, as you are passing to your assigned position that you had previously agreed upon with Sebast. You notice as you walk by this this little bit of questioning from Dorian you'd note your surroundings making sure you're giving the correct information yes I'm 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 making my way down I'm nearly in position and you look away. to your right just in time to see one of those lovely little white lilies the one closest to you on the shrub dry shrivel and turn black Oh no. Um, before uh, Nim ducks with Sebast, she's going to try and reach over towards like the next closest one and try to quickly harvest it. So, in case oh. something's happening to all of these, she can at least have one of them, even if she ends up a little staticky or something in the process. You reach out towards another one, almost as part of your dive, as you're starting suddenly kind of a little bit concerned about Sebast and putting your hand on her back to mm -hmm. take her down with you. <laughs> and the closer your hand gets to it, it dies in front of you. Oh, no, 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 Sebast, what's up, Dick? And then a lightning bolt <laughs> goes off. <laughs> <laughs> What Worst are you fireworks <laughs> though ever? <laughs> what are you what are you targeting, Naya? Um, I wanna be because they're they're decently far from the, the snare now, right? Twenty-five feet, thirty feet, oh, crouched and moving as quickly as they can, as quietly as they can. I wanna be like five feet behind the snare, like so if it's like us, the snare, and then the guy, like it's like on this side, if that makes sense. Okay, the near side. Yeah, so I want to get, like, five feet from the snare so that, it, like, the sound is going to draw him that direction. Okay, and that's not where you are getting when you cast a spell. That's where you are targeting with the spell. Yeah, that's okay. where I'm targeting. All right. So I'll just... <laughs> uh, you fire this bolt of arcane force. You're just targeting the ground or this table or one of the benches? Um, Just the ground, because I, I think I just needed to make some sort of noise. Okay. Um, there is a heavy thud that kind of lightly, a big hill, barrow, hollow on the inside, but you feel an impact through the dirt, and you imagine it's worse for anything below. Um, 
and there's a spray of dust and the quick sound of raining earth afterward as dirt, this, the gray soil of Black Reach flies 20 feet in the air after one of these arcane volleys is basically <laughs> lightning strikes. Dust starts to settle. The sound quietens. Quietens? I feel like that's a word. Yeah. It is today. <laughs> you prick your ears up and keep your eyes open. Head but darting back and forth, keeping a close eye on the top of that hill. Nothing yet. Dorian, I don't know if I did it wrong, but I don't think it worked. You did it right. <laughs> I, I just... could try one other thing, but it's risky. Thing is here and it's not supposed to be here. Try whatever you feel. No matter how risky it is. So, um, it's been more than six seconds. She's going to charge up another Eldritch Blast. But when she's casting it this time, she's just going to scream as loud as she can. Because if this thing kills things, alive things scream. Um, gonna aim at the same place and just like, ah! I don't want to do that into the mic. Um, <laughs> the way that you just described that makes me think of my favorite Fate Stay Night quote of, when things die, they're dead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> As I understand it, life out. needs things to live. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> um, but I'm like, I don't got, I don't know what the rest of my magic does, so I'm just gonna fucking <laughs> scream. So, when in doubt, another thunderclap, another lightning bolt strikes the top of this hill, another rain of earth, and a piercing scream. Uh. Dust settles. Guys. <laughs> Initially nothing. Then first Nimwin. Then Naya. And then the other two. See two hot coals staring out from the branches at the top of the hill about five feet off the ground. Staring right at the source of the screaming from behind the cover of the branches. Let's end right there, shall we? <laughs> It's about 1020. I think that's a, that's I want to be in a campaign story. where one time we can lay a good booby trap and it works. <laughs> the one time Just we can use snare. One time. <laughs> well, I mean, he has hey. to run my direction. It, yep, things may happen. It seems that whatever you're dealing with is not operating on base instincts. It has some semblance of plan. You get a lasso that fucking guy into this trap, I swear on my Yeezys. <laughs> I cannot wait for it. <laughs> I'm gonna make a quick nice note. Flowers make sure. Flowers are dying. Ah. Nimwin's just like, like I don't care about like... this guy. The flowers are dying. <laughs> flowers are dying, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of druid are you? You don't oh. even care. <laughs> I'm a desert druid. <laughs> That's right. You think you I've seen flowers well before? <laughs> Guys, to all of you who stuck around through that whole stream, thank you so much for ending the night with us. Ooh. I had fun. I I finally got into like playing D and D <laughs> to where I could separate <laughs> myself a little bit from the first hour of this stream, <laughs> which is still wild to me. Let me turn the red off here. Hang on. Let me get back to blue where I feel like I can live. There we go. <laughs> um. Man. Uh, so, so we parked it at 331. 331. For the night. I think I mean, we reached our stretch goals. <laughs> our, our stretch goals have stretch marks. Like, what the hell? <laughs> um, 
<laughs> um, oh, yeah, baby. Vance Rock says, it was a fun session. Plasma Spartan says, thanks for the entertainment. Uh, Sarah says, fucking guy. So, I I'll agree. Take that as a compliment. <laughs> um, <laughs> we, uh, we're going to call it here, guys. We're doing this every Monday. And you're coming in at the beginning. We've hardly done anything yet. I mean, we hardly did anything tonight. Like, a third of our running time was taken yeah. up by cool people in the chat. So, it hey, is... I held a sword for the first time. I did a lightning, and I screamed. You, that's yep. not nothing. That's, mm -hmm. that's progress. That's character and development, I made baby. two new friends. You killed two <laughs> new <laughs> flowers. Uh, so, uh, announcements-wise... Wednesday night, we will be continuing with the Wild Beyond the Witch Light. Uh, Tyler and Maddie and myself, as well as yeah. Misfit and Rifle Stud, will be playing a different D&D &D campaign and doing some fun things. Uh, we haven't quite decided what we're doing Friday yet. If you have ideas, why not share them in the Discord? Maybe we'll do that thing uh, before we come back next Monday and do this again. There, if you don't know where to find us or to stay updated on the stuff that we're up to... There's a link to a link tree, which is a tree of links, and then you can find us everywhere. Uh, all the wonderful people. Here too. I was going to say all the wonderful people who are on screen with me have an at uh, right beneath their name or right beside their names and beneath their character names, so you can check them out and see what they're up to. Uh, they cosplay, they make stuff, they're cool people, and you should you should be interested in what they yeah. do besides this because it's cool. I would know. I follow them all. Um, yeah. <laughs> What other things? We all, they all have codes. If you like dice and stuff and uh, don't want Just to bank on winning things to have to get them or don't want to wait until the end of the month, you can use their codes on mistymountaingaming.com and get stuff for yourself. And you save money and they earn money. And they're... Nice. Oh, they're so Tyler's there. got us there. <laughs> Panda 10, Maddie 10, Ellie 10, and Crash 10 to support Great. anybody on screen right now. And save yourself and some money. The three dice sets I couldn't decide between for Naya. Oh, like, okay. Oh, I like that one a lot. Yeah. She does like all Bobby's that like other yeah. shit. And then we had to get some like crystal dice. Blue cat's yeah. eye. That's wonderful. Really? We pretty. ran out of that this weekend uh, at the show. I think we still have it on the website. Oh, so pretty. Yeah. I dig it. Blue's my favorite color, as you can Me tell. Me too. And this is my first blue girl. I'm like, how the fuck did I not do this? Before? I haven't had a blue boy. I had a a guy with blue pants. That's about as close as I came. In a red shirt. It's <laughs> <laughs> together. Um, guys, anything to say or to remind people about before we close out for the night? Uh, I don't think so. I know Misty Mountain's going to be at a lot of upcoming conventions. So yeah. say hi to oh, our friends boy. at cons. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, sure. Pay attention to the socials for those things. Um, I forget the weekends that are coming up, but um, we're going to be in Texas fairly soon. I forget if it's Houston or Dallas. Uh, we're going to be in Boston for Fan Expo Boston. We're going to be in Toronto for Fan Expo Toronto. In Raleigh for GalaxyCon Raleigh. Um, Man, C2E2, I think. C2E2, definitely. To, um, Emerald City. I'm, man, Later I'm, in the year, there's I'm, more. I know I'm not going to get to go to Emerald City, and but Diego I want to go. Yeah. Um, are we, oh, are we at Gen Con? Lanolin, we are, okay, we're not at Gen Con. And we're a little okay. salty about it, because we, we want to be. Oh, no. But it's, if you're going it's to not Gen by Con, choice. let Gen Con know you want to see yes. Misty Mountain there next year. Riot and Yay. rage in the middle of Gen Con. Uh, <laughs> Scream like, you like you're casting understand. lightning and scared. I have to see these nerds. <laughs> the Wrath of Khan, <laughs> says Tales of Arisia. Very much so. Um, Lenalyn Wilson, thanks whoever gave them a gifted sub. Uh, man, it's anyone's guess, but it was probably... <laughs> statistically speaking, it was probably Manny or Sarah... Prismatic <laughs> Lightning or Io Jaeger, because mm. y'all see Holy. that that red bar wasn't red earlier. Okay. <laughs> um, there is so much kindness and generosity on stream. There today. is. It, I... just, it makes my heart very happy. I feel very fortunate to play with these awesome people and to have an awesome community backing us it makes it even better. I I'm probably you know gonna. I'm probably gonna take tonight, and I'll I'll post a video or something on my socials tomorrow, 
um, and maybe Misty's too, but that's me. If you want to see me get, um, try and compose myself tomorrow, that's, that's where you will see that. Um, okay. Wait, new activity. Oh, Something happened. We got, we got thing. another gift. TD, oh, oh, a community one. sub. <laughs> Buddy, brother, <laughs> sister, <laughs> whoever you are. Thank you, man. And just good, good fucking note to end on. What a... We are blessed. <laughs> y'all are y'all are a blessing. And hey, in case you don't hear it anywhere else this week till next Monday, because we'll hear it from us again then for sure. We love you guys. Y'all are yeah. awesome. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you mu so much for being yourselves. And until next time, friends and adventurers, farewell. Godspeed. Bye. Have a great night. Bye. Bye. Bye, friend. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Have a good Social night. Social for two seconds to Bye. say goodbye. My God. <laughs> <laughs>